was born with that problem. There are many of us. There are things we are going through. You don't like it, but you see yourself going through it. If you hear me say, I hear you. Are you there? Are you sure you're there? Are you there? There are many of us fighting some battles in our life that you don't know how it began. You just saw yourself in a battle that you got married and you could not be a children. You saw yourself in a situation where you labor and work so hard more than any other man, but you cannot have any evidence to show. You found yourself in a situation where you try all you could and you see yourself going in a circle. And whenever you look around your life, you will be asking yourself, I don't know how this thing started. But we are at the presence of the God of all specialists. The Lord that is called the Omini Science God. The God that knows the number of hair upon your head. The Lord that knows the way of the eagle in the sky. We are serving and we are in the presence of the God that measures the ocean in the hollow of his hand. We are in the presence of the God that seated in heaven and control the affairs of men on earth. We are serving and we are in the presence of the God that is called the Almighty God. Every other man may be called a mighty man. Every other situation may be called a mighty situation. But there is no man that is living that can be attested or can be attributed that he is an almighty man. We are in the presence of the God Almighty that had the solution to your problem, that had the solution to that challenge. He is the life comforter. What he needs from you is just an obedience so that that miracle will take place in your life. What you are looking for is in the hand of God that created the heaven and the earth. Because the scripture tell me in the book of Genesis chapter number one, he said in the beginning, God created heaven and the earth. So there is nothing that is going on in this earth that God don't know the beginning. There is no situation. There is no ugly condition. There is nothing you are going through. There is no challenge. There is no mockery that you will say that my own is different. God is bigger than that your problem. God is bigger than that challenge. What God is need, what God need from you, what God demands from you is an obedience. When you obey God, it will move God to come in your direction because uh, you are fearfully and preciously made in the hand of God. The scriptures say that we are a peculiar people, a choosing generation, a royal priesthood. We have been separated from God. The scriptures say there is nothing, there is no temptation that is in your life that is not common to man. But in this situation, he has promised her that he will make a way to somebody under the sound of my fall. God will make a way for you in the name of Jesus. God will make a way for you in the name of Jesus. If you believe... That God will make a way for you. I want you to rise up on your feet and shout, God will make a way for me. If you believe that you are not going back, remaining the same, can you shout, God will make a way for me. As it is written, that whatsoever I hear you say that that is what. Jehovah will do in your life, in that situation, in that battle, in your marriage, in your business, in the life of your children, 
I join my faith uh, with your faith. Uh, I join my faith uh, with the faith of the prophet of God. For it is written that by a prophet, the people of God was brought out of the house of bondage. And through a prophet, they were established. I decree, I join my faith with your faith. Uh, God will make a way for you in the name of Jesus. When people rejected you, God said, I will not leave you nor forsake you until I have done that which I said concerning you. There is something that God said concerning you. And the power of darkness cannot change it. There is something that heaven said concerning you. Your neighbor cannot stop it. If you hear me say, I hear you. This man was born blind. He was in a hopeless situation. His parents couldn't help with the situation. His parents couldn't give him a solution because their parents, it was not their will. It was not their will that they will give birth to a blind child. What you are going through in that your marriage for many years, you never pray that what you are going through now, that you will go through it. But you see yourself through going through it. I tell you what you, most of us are going through in Nigeria now. We never pray that we will go through it in this country. So God understand the plight of Nigeria. But God has sent me to tell the people of Toronto Mercy. He said I should tell them. I will surprise your enemies. If you believe what Jehovah has said, touch your neighbor. Say neighbor. Say neighbor. Say neighbor. In this year 2024, in your life, in your business, in your marriage, God will surprise your enemies. God will surprise your enemies. God will surprise your enemies. In the mighty name of Jesus. The man was born blind. But the beautiful thing that happened there is that the scripture said, and Jesus was passing by. Just like in this season, that God of Abraham is passing by, has come on this great visit. You do not need to joke with it. You do not need to allow anybody to distract you. You do not need anybody to poison your mind. Be focused, be attentive. Keep looking on to Jesus and God will answer your prayers in the name of Jesus. He said, and Jesus was passing by. And the man that was born blind, that was blind from his birth, he came across that man. And he spit on the clay and put in his eyes and said, go and wash yourself in the pool called Sion. What is that telling you, child of God? Whenever God wants to have an encounter with a man, he will appoint a place and a time. If only you can be very sensitive that this season is a season that God has appointed for your deliverance. And the man obeyed. And as the man obeyed and went and washed himself in the pool called Celion, the Bible said he received his sight. After God of Abraham, whatsoever thing you'll be believing God for, you will receive it in the name of Jesus. And because the man, listen to me, it is not as many, listen to me, it is not as many that 
followed you to pray for breakthrough. Always rejoice with you when the breakthrough comes. If you hear me say, I hear you. Are you there? There are many people who will be laughing with you. Oh, 2024, go will visit me. 2024, go with bless. Oh, tell your neighbor. Oh, this year, this year, you will get married. Oh, my sister, this year you will get married. And you see some of them. You will come and give them the ivy and say, Oh, I'm doing my traditional marriage. And she is no more happy. Oh, go with don't this around for me. Go with change my situation. And God answered you and convert you from being a poor man to a rich man. The same person who have been saying, I wish that God will bless you. The man will start looking at you. Look at him. I will not all here. And now you are not doing guy because God has blessed you. He is no more happy that God bless you. It was the people that be seeing the blind man every day. I know that some of them will be telling the blind man, don't worry. I know that one day, I know that one day, God will give you, will give you the grace, you will, you will receive your sight. He will say, oh, amen, amen. Oh, my brother, don't worry, I know that one day, God will grant you visa, you will go to Canada. He said, amen, amen. How be it that it was these same people who has been with a blind man every day dashing him money as he has been begging. The same people, the man received the sight and now they are telling the man, you that was born a blind man, we see that we begging. So you, you want to tell us. Now you want to start making money by your own self. You will not come to beg us again. I stand to decree. Every enemy of your testimony. Any man, any woman. Who is somewhere watching you. You have been going to throne of mercy. You have been going to naivety. You have been going to camp. You have been praying. And now they heard that Nejimwe is going to America for Omogo. The same people turn around to begin to fight you. I decree and I declare every enemy of your testimony, every enemy of your blessing, every enemy of your of your expectation, I stand upon the word of God. May the Lord disgrace them in the name of Jesus. May heaven disgrace them in the name of Jesus. May heaven disgrace them in the name of Jesus. And they saw the blind man. Because God has decided to surprise the enemies of the man. And they told the man, are you that blind man? Uh, no, no, it's not him. He resembled him. <laughs> Is it not this woman that spent many years with that conception? And now they saw you with a big tummy. And they turn and say, No, he resembled her. No, it is her. And the blind man answered for himself and said, I am here. I pray to you the blessing, the favor, the miracle that God will do in your life. After this God of Abraham, no power will cover it in the name of Jesus. God will give you undeniable favor in the name of Jesus. God will give you undeniable evidence in the name of Jesus. God will give you undeniable encounter in the name of Jesus. Ah, this come to my mind what the scripture said in the book of Jeremiah chapter number 18. He said, 
just like in a potter's house. He said that the potter was walking with the clay on the wheel, and in the hand of the potter, the clay melted, the clay got spoiled, the clay got disorganized. The Bible said, and from the clay that was made in the hand of the potter, the Bible said, the potter made it again a better vessel from the mad clay. I want to tell you, I don't know the problem that you have found yourself. I don't know the challenge that you have found yourself. I don't know the miracle in your life that the enemy has spoiled. I don't know the joy, that thing that gives you joy. And the enemies have succeeded to ruin that joy. And you are no more happy because of what the enemy has done. But the Bible said, out of that ugly situation, Jehovah, the host heaven and the earth, the I am that I am, the ancient of days, the Lord that knows you more than I, you know yourself. He that keepeth Israel, he never sleep nor slumber. He said, out of that ugly situation, out of that man, clear he made a better one in that ugly situation in your life i join my faith with the faith of my father in the law i decree in that ugly situation in your marriage in your business in your career may the law give you a better testimony in the name of jesus they close a door in your life and they are rejoicing yes we have come we have succeeded we have succeeded to close that one door. Ah, if, if my calling is no fake, there was one that was praying, I said, God, if my calling is no fake, you will answer me. If my mandate from heaven is no fake, to everyone under the sound of my voice, maybe there is a door that the enemy has closed in your life. I start to decree, because of that one singular door that the enemy closed against you. May the Lord open unto you seven doors in the name of Jesus. May heaven open seven doors of favor. May heaven open doors, seven doors of breakthrough. May this heaven open seven doors of help us in the mighty name of Jesus. He said for your delay, I will give you double. Do everything that the enemy has succeeded to destroy in your life. He said that the clay, out of the main clay, out of the clay that was spoiled, out of it he made a better one. So from this situation, from this battle you are going through, you, God will give you a better situation in your life. In the name of Jesus, rise up on your feet. I worship Ojoku e Raja. I worship Chiro Kudiku e. Are you there? I worship Ojoku e Raja. I worship Chiro. Good I should take the house. I don't know. That's it. That when you look around your life, it has made you know to speak louder in the midst of your age mates. 
Heaven say I should tell you. Rise your enemies. <laughs> they thought you will die this year. Go say he will surprise the enemy that you are the one who will go for their burial. He said, I will surprise your enemies. The people that told you will come and beg them before you will eat. Before the end of the year 2024, they will knock on your door and ask you for help. In the name of Jesus. Go say he will surprise your enemies. The people that told that you cannot be able to pay for the one room apartment that you are living. They will be surprised that before the end of the year 2024, when they will ask of you, they will tell them, he is no more living in this public yard. He is not living in two plates. He is not living in that bungalow. He is not living in that three bedroom plan. That shall be your portion in the name of Jesus. Because he said, I should tell you that he will surprise your enemy. Lift up your hand. Okaka se mu be agwagi o. Nagaya dike di naruki o. Iwo masi rindi rohame. Na meri buke. Hana wana siyamasi. Yes, it's Jerusalem. Yes, I don't know the sickness that have made you 
that whenever you come out, you will know what to say. But because of your condition, you decided not to speak. Oh, oh, oh. There is a common evil adage that says that a poor man says that he knows what he will say. The village will be in good death. The village will be in order. The why he will not say it is because if he say that thing, they will tell him, okay, you are bring the idea or you go and do it. You know what you will say in your father's house. You know what you will say in your community. You know what you will say in your yard. You know what you will say even before your brothers and sisters. The way you could not be able to say it is that I like that. I don't know if somebody have told you like that. I don't know if you have been if somebody had mocked you. Somebody once told me when I was over there in my yesterday. The person told me I said, every time they are calling you Pasema, Pasema. But all of us are this main road fighting to succeed. I could not be able to speak again. But today, those same people that said that thing, whenever I am passing today, they will be calling me and say, Pasima, please come now. Pasima, you are not passing us. You don't want to come and greet us again. That will be a situation in the name of Jesus. I don't know if you're there. One single prayer point. Oh God, every situation in my life that have taken away my boldness, that have taken away my rights, that have taken away what I am going through that I have closed my mouth that I cannot be able to talk. If you want to talk, they will say, don't you know how old you are as a young lady? You are above 40 years and you are not married. And you are in a behavior Then there is no suggestion. Can you hear me? I'm a me like this. But you cannot be able to pay for one room apartment. You cannot be able to talk. Do you understand my prayer point? Do you understand what to pray now? Lift up your right hand to heaven. Say, my father, my father. Say, my father, my fighter. Say, oh God of Abraham, the life comforter. Every battle in my life, every situation in my life, every situation in my life, every sickness in my life, that have made me not to have boldness to speak in my public, to speak in my father's house, to speak in my marriage, to speak in my yard. Oh God, my father, as I jam my two hands together, jam your two hands together, say, oh God, today, let that problem come to an end. Let that challenge be told to take some money. Let that challenge come to an end. Open your mouth and pray. 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 Open your mouth. 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 Are you sure you are praying? Are you sure you are praying? Are you sure you are praying? Oh God, my Father, whatsoever challenge. Oh God, my Father, whatsoever battle, oh God, my Father, every sickness in my life, oh God, my Father, every condition in my life that have made me not to be able to speak before my friends, to speak before my friends, to speak before my family member, oh Lord, my Father, in the name of Jesus, let it be done to testimony, let it be done to testimony, let it be done to testimony. 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 Let it be done to testimony.
heaven. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, I have delivered that which by your spirit you say I should share with your people. That no matter what the enemies are bragging, that no matter what the enemies are saying, in the life of your people, you say I should tell them uh, that you will surprise their enemies. Therefore, Lord, I pray to as many that lifted up their hand in this year 2024, may Jehovah give you a testimony that will silence your enemies. In the name of Jesus, may heaven give you a testimony that will silence your enemies. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord give you an evidence that will silence your enemies. In the name of Jesus, thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' wonderful name, we pray. Put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Are you happy to be in God's presence this morning? If you are happy, please may you stand. Hallelujah. This morning, can't make your voice to be counted. Don't look at me. Don't mind what I sing, but connect to Jesus. Who you have come here this morning to praise. Hallelujah. <laughs> We praise the Lord. Oh, that man, we praise the Lord. For his goodness and for his wonderful world. To the children of men, to the children of men. For his goodness and for his wonderful world. To the children of men, to the children of men. He has broken the gates of hell. Thank you. 
that we may have a life that has meaning. Thank you for whom you are, for what you are, and what you are going to do. Be the highly exalted. In Jesus' name we worship. In Jesus' name we worship. Come hands for Jesus. Amen. Today, a lot will happen here. And it's for your own good. Hallelujah. Many instruments have the Lord prepared to bless our souls. To make this conversion possible. We've had the first speaker. Now we are going to have the second speaker. And I believe that through this vessel, something good will happen to your life. In the name of Jesus. So we are inviting evangelist and Chidebe. Can you clap? You are not clapping. Are you are not clapping. Eh? Keep on clapping, please. Keep on clapping. Keep on clapping. Something good is about to happen today. In your life, in my life, in this church, something great will surely happen. Praise the Lord. The church praise the Lord. I believe you are happy being in the presence of God in this year, God of Abraham, the life converter. It is a beautiful thing to dwell in the presence of God. Can we be on our feet, please? We lift your name high. We lift your name. We lift your name high. We lift your name. to us. I decrease as you increase this moment in the name of Jesus. Do something for the Lord. This year's God of Abraham, we are looking at God of Abraham, the life converter. The life converter. I will start my ministration with a testimony, I am a converter. The Lord has converted me. 
I'm a product of God of Abraham so many years ago. God of Abraham 2015. When the God of Abraham came as a body in Biara, I knew that day I was sitting there, near that AC, somewhere there, when the man of God was ministering that day. And the Lord remember me, that God of Abraham, and laid the spirit upon me. Praise the Lord. He said, God of Abraham, that I don't forget. So this particular year is for us, it's for you, it's for me. Just keep in with your faith. Then when he came as a protocol breaker about six years ago, that was when he broke the protocol and gave my husband a visa to continue to fly. So I want you to queue in. This is two God of Abraham's gave me an indelible mark that I can never forget. So whenever God of Abraham is coming, I attach my spirit, soul, and body to it because he has visited me on two consecutive occasions. Can someone say praise the Lord? May you receive testimony in this God of Abraham. It is not a joke. Just cue in. This morning, we are looking at God of Abraham, the life converter. Yesterday, Daddy gave us um, a definition of this conversion, and I will cue in from where he stopped so. Conversion is a transformation. Conversion is a process, as he said. You must pass through a process of conversion before you become converted. There are things you must submit for. There are things that must transpire in your life at the process of conversion. And you must abide in them. You must not allow those things to make you to shift back. Praise the Lord. For instance, so many things could be transformed from one state to another. Let's assume we are looking at um, our normal cassava. We all know cassava roots. Cassava roots. If you look at cassava roots in that state, that is where we get our gare from. Praise the Lord. That is where we get our gare from. That's That is where we get our fufu from. That is where we get our cassava flour from. And that is transformation. That is conversion from one process to another. So as you are here, any situation you find yourself, just believe that you are in the process of conversion. Before you could process a cassava root to achieve gare, there must be processes. Before you could turn cassava root to fufu apple, there must be processes. And that is what is happening to us individually as you are seated here. Paraventure, you are believing God, oh Lord, make me to be wealthy in order to feed my family. And you have been saying this prayer all this year, but you see yourself not moving forward. I tell you, I hit your chest, wait for the Lord. For he will surely come, because you are passing through processes. You are passing through stages in order to get to your desired end. Remember the word of God say, the plan he has for us is of good and not of evil in order to give us an expected end. Brethren, the life converter is here. He's right standing with us. He said, we are two. We are two or three have gathered. I am there in their midst. I am there in their midst. Our Lord Jesus is in our midst, taking petitions, taking our requests one after the other. I admonish you, I charge you, do not be distracted. Do not be distracted. Make sure that you are connected. Praise the Lord. Let's go to the book of First Chronicles. First Chronicles chapter 4. Nine and ten. If you are there, read it for me. Uh, 
I, okay. I read in Jesus' name. First Chronicle chapter four, verse nineteen. Ready? Verse nine, verse four, chapter four, verse nine and ten. Chapter four, nine and ten. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. And his mother called his name Jabez, saying, Because I bear him with sorrow. And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed, and enlarge my coast, and that thy hand might be with me, and that thou wouldest keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. And God granted him that which he requested. Praise Amen. the Lord. The word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. It pierces the heart, it pierces the soul and the spirit and the body. It's an intent of heart and the sinner of thoughts. The word of God has just gone forth. The word of God is spirit and is life. The word of God says, Jabez, Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. And the mother gave him the name Jabez because she bare him in sorrow. You can see the foundation of Jabez. Right from birth, he carried a foundation of causes, foundation of pain. For eventually, when the mother was pregnant of him, she passed through insults, she passed through humiliation, she passed through agonies, she passed through pains, she passed through unbearable things. Just like in the olden days in Igbo land, you could see they give children name according to what they pass through at birth. That was what exactly what happened in that book of First Chronicles chapter 4, 9 and 10. And Jabez began to grow with pain and sorrow. I don't know where you are coming from, what you have been passing through since you were born. I don't know what you are passing through since you step inside that marriage. I don't know what you, what you are passing through since you grow, believing God that you are going to have, get the life partner, get married. You are passing through one thing or the other. The one beautiful thing is, Jabez did not remain in that situation. Jabez is not the only son of the mother. He said he was more honorable than his brethren. That means he knew God. That means at a stage in the life of Jabez, but eventually Jabez has grown. The Bible did not tell us how old Jabez was, but I knew. Now Jabez is told you, Louis Hedin wake him, and I'm a Hesuke Heri Basanda. And Jabez sat down and began to think of a cage who Hedin wake and go on and more one hour, one more two, no eleven more. She has married. She is her husband's house. My neighbor that I started business with is doing well. Why is my own case different? And Jabez began to think about his life because he had passed through processes. He passed through so many things in his life till he come to stand and begin to come unto God. As we are seated here, I believe we have come to the presence of God, believing God for one thing or the other he's going to do in our lives today. That is exactly what Jabez did. Jabez began to come on God. Jabez began to seek God. God, change my situation. God, I am tired of this condition. God, I am tired of this story. God, I am tired of this pregnancy. God, I am tired of God, I am tired of seeking for men to help me. But eventually he has talked to all the relatives of his father, his uncles. He has gone for help, all to no avail. 
are you here like Jabez in order to seek God? Let me tell you, God of Abraham, the life converter, is going to attend to all our needs in the name of Jesus. And Jabez prayed to God. And Jabez seeked God. As you are here since the day of rally, praying. As you are here since yesterday, offering your request to God. Do you think God is not hearing? He is the God that heareth. He's hearing all your requests. He's hearing all your petitions as he listened to Jabez. And after all these years, God answered the prayers of Jabez. Hmm. Jabez requested for about three or four things. That is to tell you that your petitions and your request to God is unlimited. If you know all those things the Lord wants, you want the Lord to do for you, tender all of them before God. Don't say it's too big. No, he's going to do all of them. Do you have a request in the presence of God? Or you just came because you see other people coming? Since the prayers are going on, are you tendering your request to God? For he is going to answer all our prayers today in the name of Jesus. Our Lord Jesus is going to convert all of us in the name of Jesus. In as much as you are going to stood by the principle, the ethics, and the rules of conversion. For you to be converted in as much as you are going through processes, you must retain the ethics of heaven. Heaven has ethics. Heaven has principles which we must abide to. In as much we want to be converted, we must obey God. We must keep the rules of God. We must obey the commandment of God. In as much as we are tendering our request to God, He is a converter, He is a merciful God. One of the attributes of God is that He is a God of mercy. And he will show all of us mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. If God showed David mercy and turned his ugly story to beautiful story, so shall he be upon us in the name of Jesus. Say this prayer, my father, my father. In the name of Jesus. Father, grant me my request in this program. Grant my request oh, yeah, in this say program. that prayer, say that prayer, say, Lord. Brother, in the name of Jesus, Jesus grant my request, Jesus. request in this very program. Ah, Lord, 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 I ask so, Lord, that all my budget, Lord, I ask so, God, that all my challenges, Lord, I ask ah, so, God, that all my grant requests, us our requests in this program, ah, in this that heaven, program, oh God, God we answer grant me. Grant us all our heaven, requests. We answer me. In the name heaven, of Jesus. We answer me. In heaven, Jesus' we answer me. name we have prayed. Amen. In one of the prayers of Jabez, Jabez seeked for protection. Jabez seeked for protection. In as much as he asked the Lord for blessing, he asked God that his hand will be upon him. Because you know, some of us, after this program, we, we attract blessing that we attract envy. You know that the blessings of God comes with envy. There is a level God will bless you to. Envy. People will begin to envy you for nothing. If you check yourself and what you did to that person, you did absolutely nothing to the person. That is envy. And before you know it, some of them go the extra mile to hurt you. But the hand of God shall be upon us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Our Lord is a life converter. He can convert all sicknesses and take them away. Are you here with one sickness or the other? Have faith in the Lord. For he will surely take away the sicknesses and convert us to sound health. In the name of Jesus. What are those sicknesses that are troubling you? The life converter is here. He's here to change all situations. You are tired of taking those medications. 
you are tired of going from one hospital to the other, the Lord is saying that he is the Lord that healed. I am the Lord that healed. I am the Lord that healed. You sent your word and healed my disease. is still in the business of healing. May his healing hand touch all of us today in the name of Jesus. He is a healer. He changes not. He's telling you what are those things that are separating you from serving me. Let me tell you, brethren, when you find yourself in sickness, there are things you want to do you could not do. There are things, programs you want to attend you could not attend. There are business you want to supply. You see yourself, there is no strength to do it. And at times it pains your spirit, it pains your soul. The Lord is saying in this program that he is going to touch our sicknesses. He's going to roll them away in the name of Jesus. Our God is still in the business of healing. I don't know if you are here. Wherever you think that is paining you, as the word of God is going on, lay your hand here. Manasuba kandabaya karima hasumo rengete mobuhata asamo hiria. The healing hand of God will locate each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. Those pains you see before, after this program, masuete masuete mongete, you see them no more. Ah, blind but not to shout and say, Lord, have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. And that day, the mercy of the Lord located blind but and his eyes were open. I pray that the mercy of God will locate each and every one of us today and begin to remove pains and begin to take away sicknesses that are hindering us. Sicknesses that Satan are projecting into us. The Lord will roll them away in the name of Jesus. Amen. Our God is still in the business of healing. I don't know who is here. I don't know who is here. Who is having that pain that that person is crying. Lord, when are you going to remember me? And I'm all May the healing power of the Lord begin to massage your body. Today, you are going home healed. For the life power is here. And you can never go in vain. The one of God said, that the children of Israel will not seek him in vain. The children of Jacob will not seek him in vain. And I'm all saying, the healing angels of throne of mercy are moving from city to city. A rebel shout suka bohiria, yakahite sumo hiria. I want you to connect your heart for the presence of God is here at this hour. And I'm all saying, shaka bohiria. The God of Hana, the life converter, is here. He is here to attend to our programs. He is here to attend to your needs. Masuata Rambo Hesuba, a yeke hima sandahe, a kemo haswa, remohike sende hasuba hiria. The Lord is ministering to our wombs, our wombs of conception, our wombs of businesses, our wombs of businesses. Let me tell you, He knows all things. He knows all things. He knows the presence before you were born. Before you came to this earth, the Lord has known that this program is going to come. Makahita Ramba Shika Bohiria, Rabohete Hesu Bohiria. Ah, as many that are here that are believing the Lord for their wombs to be blessed. Let me tell you, your womb is not only wombs for conception of baby. Your business is a womb. You have to conceive it and pass through processes in order to give birth. The Lord is talking to us this morning. God of Abraham, the life converter. Are you ready to be converted? Yes, we are all ready. 
That is why we left our homes to be here. That is why we left the comfort of our beds to be here. That is why we closed our businesses to be here. That is why we left our families to be here, to seek the King of Kings in order for him to convert us. Today, may we all be converted in the name of Jesus. Today, may God answer our prayers in the name of Jesus. And I admonish us, I charge us to stay in the Lord. I charge us to obey the rules of heaven. Let us love one another. Let us walk in love and humility. Let us be humble like Jesus so that our prayers will be answered. Let us walk in the fear of the Lord. Let us reference God. Let us stay in obedience to the word of God. He is able to do all things. He answered Hannah. He answered Jabez. He answered blind Bartimaeus. He answered the women with the issue, a woman with the issue of blood. And he can never see us and change. He remains the same God that reigned forever and ever. Our life converted. Have the fear of God in you. He can do all things. He's able to settle it. He's able to make your business to smile. He's able to project that man that will put you in a family way and love you forever. There is no impossibility in the sight of God. In as much as you have come to the presence of God. He will do all of them in the name of Jesus. Why must we be converted? Why? Why must we be converted? It's a question. It is the perfect will of God that we should be converted. It is the perfect will of God that we should be converted and we will live a life like him. It is his will. It is not the will of God for us to suffer. Even when we suffer, he says it's for a short time. Even when God said there must be poor in our midst, he made provisions for those poor. Yes. Yes, I say yes. Yes, he made provision for them. I can remember one time, one day, we don't have any money in the house, and landlord came to harass us because of 5,000 naira. No, he did not harass us, but other people have paid, but I have not paid. And when the landlady told me she didn't harass, she just reminded us. And I told my husband, I said he doesn't have any money, I asked him to go. And I know, I know that I cried to go. Immediately after that cry, it's not up to two minutes, my brother's wife calls me. He asks me, Anne, how are you? I said, I'm fine. He said, why is your voice like this? I told him. He said, I should wait. She came all the way from barracks and bring that 5,000 naira for me. It's a testimony. It's a testimony. That to show you that any, when you are in lack, God knows that you are in lack. And even when she brought that money, I said, you say she don't know that all at a sudden, everything about me begins to trouble her where she is. Because she worships, she's a believer, she worships to watch now. He said, the Holy Spirit said, call her now. She picked up her phone and called me. And I just finished praying, I was still shedding that tear. Immediately I said that, she said, wait for me, I'm coming to your house. And she came down, she brought that 5,000 naira. And I went and gave my landlady. When she left, I worshipped God. I said, God, you had my voice. So even if God, you are in lack and you are serving God, don't worry. Whatsoever it is, table it to him. He hears. His ears is not deaf. Our life comes water. Now, no effect. Ne 
ain't broken. My force. Do not be troubled. Don't be mocked. Even when they mock you, believe that the life converter is there. That as a certain season, he is going to convert every ugly situation to beautiful situations. Don't waver, don't worry. Just hold him tight. He will do it at an appointed time. Don't help God. One of the things that delays our testimony is helping God. God cannot do it. Then we begin to help him. Then we begin to give you suggestions of what to do. And I'm all saying, Keriba Makahata Harabasanda. And immediately you begin to yield to those things. You are dancing to the drum beats of the demons. Ah! They begin to give you suggestions of what to do. Let me tell you, people mocked me, but I glorify God, they don't mock me again. If life converter sets in, who is that man? Who is that mountain before Zerubbabel? That the Lord could not stop? No way. I admonish you, I charge you, if you are for Jesus, standing for Jesus, my Yahike Subohakahata, whatsoever you are seen, stand firm. He's able to convert all situations. Just make sure. Can we stand up? Of the fire, close your eyes and say this one. Of the
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today, the Lord will do something great in somebody's life in the name of Jesus. You know, we are going to dance before the Lord. We sing and praise the Lord. Uh, because God has instruments over there. I will use for your own good today. But then I went into the office to see daddy. And when I got there, I was shocked. Because inside that office, there are some generals of the Lord that will be mounting this podium today. They are there. Not one, not two. Set a place. And I believe that each one of them has something for you in this place. Amen. Amen. So prepare your mind to receive today. Prepare your mind to receive today. That life converter has prepared instruments, some generals that he will use on your behalf. Amen. But uh, at this moment, the singer in his own field is the general, and he is here to sing to the glory of God. Amen. Are we ready for that? If you're happy, give God a clap of way. Ah. Amen. This one is for the choir. If you want to clap, clap for our God. Stand up and give God a clap of way. Can you wave your hands to Jesus wherever you are? Can you wave those hands to Jesus? Wave those hands to Jesus. He's the mighty God. The soon coming king, the rock of Gibraltar, El Shaddai, El Lohi. Yes, you are the Lord. So Jesus, wherever you are.
Jordan was my only Jacker was my Jimmy Akasia Never see a proper at a band and shoot put a Oh, <laughs> 
Jesus, wherever you are. Your voice. Hey! 
hear this. the Lord. Hallelujah. This morning, we want to thank God for converting our lives. Hallelujah. And send this thing to be done as the ministration of the choir ministers.
Now we celebrate the Lord. Let us celebrate the Alpha. Let's celebrate the Omega. I am that I am. Let us celebrate He that is and was and is to come. Are you doing this for God or yourself? If you want to clap, clap. If you want to celebrate him, celebrate him. If you want to rejoice, rejoice. Amen. It is the time to hear from heaven. Unto the third slot of this very God of Abraham, the life comforter. Thoughts lots of the day. The heaven has prepared for us an instrument, a wonderful material. She is a woman that God has bestowed on her a great control. Hallelujah. She's a woman that God has used her to destroy many kingdoms. Glory. She's a woman that even demons bow to her command. Oh, yes. And all the way from the east. Oh, yes. From the rising sun of the parts of Nigeria. Oh, yeah. The Lord has set for laws an icon, a living legend, a wonderful Buddha of the kingdom of God. Please, it is time to celebrate the grace. As I call to this very podium, Glory. a woman Glory. of God, join me and celebrate his grace. Glory. Lady, evangelist, Dora, Umutike. Oh yes, 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 oh yes. Glory. Thank you, Father. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. Let's Thank celebrate. you, Father. in a matter like this. And, uh, and that's why only go small now and I can even accept it. Yeah, we're perfect for us and that's what we need. Hallelujah. Amen. I come as a mother. I did not come as a preacher. I come That we perform as a mother. Hallelujah. Ikele, ikele, ya, 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 
foundation of life the life converter I came before you as a maid of the Lord you are handmaid Baba you are handmaid standing before you on behalf of my son Lord I come as a mother that gave birth to a son to seek for mercy. Hey! God, I see. Also. Masa. Also. Shereka. Also. Manike te te. Te te. Also. Shereka kariyato. Nina eke si. Nina eke si. Zopana. Zobani ekari akata Maya ndakaso Ibi ekalototo Masharokopo Aya deseki Zobana kasi Ushokoropo Adye keteka Bababana kasi Zolopopo pono koti ekata Yaya deleke satata Ah Messi 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 Lord, in judgment, remember mercy. Lord, tamper judgment with mercy, with mercy, with mercy, with mercy, with mercy. Baba mercy, Lord mercy, Lord mercy, Lord mercy. For we have said, we have said, we have said no. Messi, 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 in a kata, and the uncle, and the uncle, and the uncassi, and the uncassi, a man a coti, paracassand, shonopokia, near coropo, pinetesi, a paracata, head to so, coropoposi, swatea. Ah, thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Let the aid us lay hands upon the land. The capers to see me. 
be dark at this altar. Let the pastors raise their hands upon this altar as I raised. Please. Well, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You can put your hands there. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. My heart is here. I'm a dear Cusida, see a ladder. I can hear my see, but I can see some aye. I never quanta casso. I read the robo so. Yes, I do coro, but I got her. And I thank you as Soko, Soko be a Katia Koto, a Katura Basi, Lord God Almighty, King of Glory. We remember your word in the book of Leviticus, chapter 25, verse 23. Lord God, the Bible said, The land shall never be sold forever. He said, Not forever, 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 forever. He said, Because you are the owner of the land. He said, Never open any gate wherever we shall dwell or live, we shall bring a redemption to redeem the land. But by the reason of these seven altars, we bring a redemption over this place. We redeem this place from every formal dedication. We redeem this place from every formal initiation. Amen. We redeem this place from every formal handover. Amen. To any authority, to any deity, to any power, to the spirit of the land. To every ancestral power, so authority, we redeem the land the back to the original owner in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. This is the throne of mercy, which is the throne where God rules, mm. where God reigns. Mm -hmm. Satan, you don't have any legal right mm. to claim ownership of this place. And that is why. I was sent by him who created the universe. Before I came, he said, Never you clamp to the altar built, but raise seven altars for me and bring redemption over the land. That the darkness, the cloud of darkness that hovers over the entire building, that disconnects their spiritual network will be destroyed. Amen. 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 I am a son to Zeria Caraba, but I did to Torobo. I am the Kitiku. Lord, I stand upon these seven altars to bring the judgment of God against the heathens. Amen. And to dislodge them. Baba, I stand upon this altar to dislodge Amen. the particular deity, the authority, the claim ownership. Of what you did not build. Mm -hmm. I command, park and live in the name of Jesus. Amen. Park and live. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, by the reason of these seven altars, I open the spiritual gates that has been locked up in the name of the Spirit. Lift up your hands to you gates. And may you lift it up your everlasting doors. The King of Glory shall come in. Amen. Let the heavens come down. We welcome God of heaven. Amen. We welcome the Lord Jesus. Amen. We welcome the Holy Spirit. Amen. We welcome the seven angels. Amen. We welcome the four living creatures. Amen. We welcome the host of angels. Amen. We welcome the eight stars of heaven. Amen. We welcome the light of this ministry. Amen. Let the light be restored. Amen. Let the light be restored. Amen. We demand for the lamb. 
We demand for the light. We demand for the light. We demand for the light. Let the light be restored. In fullness. In the name of Jesus. And the Gentiles we see his light. And then we come to dwell. And those that come, we never make haste to leave. Those that come, we never make haste to leave. Those that come, we never make haste to leave. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Baba, we commit this program into your mighty car. Those you have prepared to bless must be here. Starting from today to Friday night. Thank you for answering us, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus, mighty name we have prayed. Amen. God bless you. Salibo, are you there? Are you there? Zenz, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Iye kere ke na no do ya, iye ni le kere ke na no do ya, iye ni le kere ke na no do ya, iye ni le kere ke na no do ya. Mary de Jesus, na no do ya, na na no na cha cha, na no do ya, ni cha ni mo, na no do ya, ni cha mo na, na no do ya, aku aku na mo, na no do ya. together father we thank you father we bless you father we appreciate you for a day like this which you have met thank you for bringing us together again in this place we appreciate because i know another face of this ministry is coming up be that we exalted, be that glorified. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. I step down for you. I am nothing without you. The word is not mine. 
the church and the people. They are not mine. I am just a handmaid. Yes, Lord. Pass through this handmaid to bless your people. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The theme of this program said, God, life converter. Life converter. converter. Life converter. But this morning, by God's grace, I will speak on this topic I called the unforgettable encounter. The unforgettable encounter. Follow me to the book of Luke. Look, look, and see what God has done. Luke chapter 19. Luke chapter 19. I am reading from verse number one. Then Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. Now behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector, and he was rich. And he sought to see who Jesus was, but could not because of the crowd for he was of short stature. So he ran ahead, climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was going to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him. And Zacchaeus said to him, and said to him, Zacchaeus, Make haste and come down, for today I must stay at your place. Thank you. So he made haste and came down. He made haste and came down. Hey. And received him joyfully. But when they saw it, they all complained, saying, he has gone to be a guest with a man who is a sinner. Then Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, I give half of my goods to the poor. And if I have taken anything from any man, anyone, by force, accusation, I will store for food. And Jesus said to him, Today, Salvation has come to this house because he also is a son of Abraham. But the son of man has come to seek and to save that which was uh, lost. Hallelujah. The second scripture, you can write it down, is John chapter 4. Verses 5 to 9 to 29 about the woman of Samaritan. This is the two places in Gago. When I go to the second one, you can put it down. Remember my topic unforgettable encounter. This word encounter has been used severally in different contexts by men as they were preaching but what does it really mean encounter divine encounter unforgettable encounter what does that really mean i said it is to come into an impart with another it is to come into an impart with god in such a way that it can contact our ways and creates an indelible change in our lives and directions. It is a contact that can change somebody's life, somebody's life story, somebody's ways of life, somebody's styles of life. 
it is an encounter that can make you to become what you did not expect you can be in life. A divine encounter, it is generally sudden, unexpected, and almost an accidental collision. Because you did not expect it. But you come in contact with it. Suddenly, unexpectedly, you find yourself on high. You find your story changed. You find your life being transformed. An encounter is to come face to face, particularly to meet suddenly or unexpectedly a person or power that can change your life, whether positively or negatively. So what am I saying? I said it is also to meet and to strive to remove or to surmount as to encounter obstacles, implements, impediments, and the difficulties. An encounter that will remove impediments, difficulties, obstacles over somebody's life or somebody's family. An encounter that when you come together face to face with God, your life will never remain the same. That's why we called him life converter. I said in various meanings and uses, the word encounter is not a friendly word. It connotes a collection of two parties. It is to meet and to strive and to remove or surmount the other person. It is in this sense that we should look into this topic. An encounter with God. An encounter with a man that will make us to become whom we must really be in life. I said, why is it an important issue for us to encounter God? Why is an encounter with God needed at the beginning of our walk with God? Why? Can you forge them I'm talking as a person to come together to meet God face to face. Can you it is so much important for somebody to be touched of God, to come in contact with the master? Why is it so important? I said number one. Isaiah chapter 55, verse 8 to 9 says, He said, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher and you my thoughts than your own thoughts. Chineke se uso mabor uso onu uche mabor uche onu na dike eni ugwe si die nu nebo wadi o tuwa ko uso nke mwa si die nu nebo uso onu de. So your ways are not my ways and my thoughts and not your thoughts. You said I hear this. What am I saying? Why is it so important for us to encounter this God? Jeremiah chapter 17, 9 to 10 says, He said, The heart is destiful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? He said, I, the Lord, search the heart. I test the mind, even to give everyone according to his ways, according to the fruit of his doings. that you must encounter God. Because no be mad that work at the That the heart is testful. It's a very wicked heart. And don't worry, no, 
No such in a cabin. Is that not true? A guy, man, can move on by my hem to do be. A maro, a mamako home and keggy. But you go and get defined if I do be God. Because He knows us. Why do we need to encounter God? Romans chapter 3, verse 23 says, For all have sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God. For all including me, the preacher. Is that not true? All have sinned, including our elders. And we have come short of the glory of God. And that is why we need God for our life to be correct. In the book of Romans chapter 8, verse 5 to 8, the Bible said, For those who live according to the flesh, set their mind on the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the spirit, the things of the spirit. He said, for to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritual minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is a enmity against God. For it is not subject to the law of God, nor indeed can be. Do you know that without Christ, your life is wrong? You are living a wrong life. Outside Christ, your life is wrong. You are not a real person. The human heart always tends to do such things that are opposite to the will of God. The human heart will always do things that is against the will of God. Since the fall of Adam, Every seed of Adam has inherited rebellion within the life frame. Every seed of Adam inherited rebellion. And what am I saying? The flesh is contrary to the spirit. And it can never be subject to God unless it is brought into submission in a definite encounter with God. Your life cannot do anything good except it is being under subjection of the Holy Spirit through divine encounter. The real life will now come up. I said all who became friends of God they were not naturally born to become God's friend. Are they? No. They were conquered and subdued by the power of God one time or another. So no man, no man we naturally choose to serve God. No. But the Holy Ghost will always touch our hearts and subdue us and bring us under the word of God for our life to be transformed. Is that not true? When we talk because the power of sin rules the world. I was reading the scriptures and I saw many men that encounter God in their life. And I will use just two or three. To make some references, then we pray. The first person I saw in the scripture is uh, Jacob in Genesis chapter 32, from verse uh, 22 to 32. Can we read it, please? Genesis chapter 32, the book of Genesis. Chapter 32 from verse 22. The Bible said, And he arose that night and took his two wives, his two female servants, and his eleven sons, and crossed over the ford of Jabbok. He took them, sent them over the brook, and he sent over what he had. Then Jacob was left alone, and a man wrestled with him. Until the daybreak or breaking of the day. Now, when he saw that he did not prevail against him, he touched the socket of his hip 
And the socket of Jacob's hip was out of joint, and he wrestled with him. And he said, Let me go, for the day breaks. But he said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. So he said to him, What is your name? He said, Jacob. And he said, Your name shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel. For you have struggled with God, a man, and you have uh, prevailed. Hallelujah. I said, There is need, brethren, for somebody to get alone with God in a solitary place sometimes. There is need. The toys and turmoils of the world and came in to sat in his presence. That is what God needs. Amen. There is need for a man to get alone in a solitary place, in a place of quietness, to sit down and to settle his life case with God. There is need for you to have a regular contact with God. If you must succeed in your Christian life, you have need to set yourself apart at times in order to seek his presence. Jacob arose, according to where we read, arose one night and set at all, set out all things all he set out to his wives he set out to his children he set out to his flocks he set out all his business he said them cross over the brook leave me alone and all of them crossed over and bible said he was alone he set out all things that he has accumulated in the world he set them aside he, he went to settle his life case with God. And Bible, when all of them crossed over the river brook, he sat down in the presence of God and began to groan. Amen. He began to groan. He began to groan in God's presence. Brethren, there is need for one to be alone, to meet with God life converter for a change of life for a change of history many men has come and gone without having a contact with god even once in their lifetime and they spend their years in vain struggling to gather things god called rubbish one of them Being a mother to a child, he has a money, he has cars. Now, barrier from Onitsha to Lagos. And when was time for him to die? Sickness now came. What are we going to do? Please, because death has come. And when we got there, the man was down. And we began to preach, 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 preach. He was busy looking at us. And after preaching, we said, Baba, what do you say now? We want to pray for you. Do you want to give your life to Christ? And he looked at us. I said, oh, mom, you have tried. I have heard all that you have said. But I could not remember some, but I remember some. Um, if I got to cut this up, we are both. Mama, I got a gak and a moa. I got me chicken with the azu. I got anti gas, many things, and maybe see. So leave me, oh, let me just die like that. If you want to pray, you pray. If you don't want to pray, you can go. And we looked at him. And we decided to pray and go. And we pray and left. And after some days, he died. Eh? 
That family bought a tube and tire to this day. All his luxuries, gone. All his properties, gone. Because he gathered distance unto himself and God is outside his life. Do you say that I hear? Do you say that I hear? Do you say that I hear? Can you leave some of your engagements in these days? In these few days, you know, God never. Can you kindly leave some investment and some programs in where you shall do here and there? To sit down in his presence for some two, three days. That God will look into your life, into your case, into your family. And you will go home rejoicing because of what he will do in your life. Amen. I want us to remember that in every Christian, every believer, there is Jacob and there is Israel. In every believer's life, in every person's life, there is a nature called Jacob, and there is a nature called Israel. Until you encounter with God, really, your Jacob's nature will not give way to Israel. Do you say that here? Until you encounter with God, as long as you remain a Jacob, a supplanter, a chief, a fornicator, an adulterer, a seducer, you will remain in lack if your life did not change. Live on earth for 100 years, you will die wretched outside God. When Jacob was alone, the Bible said a man came to wrestle with him. Until the daybreak, in verses 24 to 30, Jacob refused to let him go because he knew he has a problem. Because he knew he was a supplanter. Because he knew his foundation of life was wrong. He knew that he has got some things for himself and God is not happy with him and his brother is not also happy with him so that day when he remembered himself when he came to himself he settled himself in his presence and the Bible said God asked him what is your name what did he say my name is uh, Jacob. And God said, from today, you are no longer Jacob, but you are Israel. Jacob refused to let him go until he changed his name. He changed his lifestyle. He changed his destiny. He changed his habitual character. He changed his character of sin. He changed the greatness in him. He changed the lifestyle of a supplanter. He said, I will not let you go. You must change me. And then the man who gave me Jehovah and Elugua. See on your mind. I be able to make clean the other. I am here for a change, and I want you to change me. I want you to change me. Let me ask you, who are you? Touch your neighbor. Ask him or her, who are you? Who are you? Do you call me again? Say, what is your name? <laughs> hey, do you actually need a change? If you know that you actually need a change, can I see your hands up? Glory be to God. You must see a change. And this God will touch your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to do what Jacob did. Eh? I am not going, you know. I am not going forever. I will roll on the ground. I will roll for me to get that which I need in life to succeed. Where we read in the book of Luke chapter 19, verse 1 to 10, we saw another man. 
The Bible called him that young man Zacchaeus. Can you call him Can you fall there? And the Bible said that man needed to see God. He desired to see Jesus. This one. He desired to see God. He desired. I don't know your desire. Why you are here? Why are you here? Eh? If you are here, you will be able to get a woman. You will be able One man came to my office. When I reached the city, I said, Madam, are you a prophet? I said, Yes. I said, I will give you a woman. I said, Yes. I said, I will give you a woman. I said, I will give I said, I'm a fool. I said, okay. Yes, so I do believe in him. No, 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 Obi de kube ihe ono ekosigi ku. No de ono. Na false prophets to talk rubbish. Say today I will show you. Obara wa mu maka ige nwete, but let me tell you who I am. Aga ma agwa gani yem mere na school of psychology. And I looked at the young man, very wretched, very tattered. Mana no nya. Now, one of the first problems was about financial problems. And I said, Oh, now I understand. Hey, recount my hand. As you are just coming in, my eyes opened. And the Holy Spirit said that you have a financial bankruptcy. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yes, 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 yes. And I looked at him again. And I saw how wretched he was. Eh? And I said again, keep my mama, 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 ru, 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 ru. In fact, as you are sitting down, the Holy Spirit told me, Nifi Bebu Waka Waka, that you have worked for so many areas. And so many prophets have prophesied over your life. Ask me exactly, exactly, exactly. Okay, Mudele Miamba. Mudele Very good. He said, Madam, what is the solution? I said, now sit down. You now sat down. I said, I'm going to talk to you now. 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 But he was a born Catholic. But he here was a way. I said, okay. He gave me 200,000. Okay, we're not going to go on. Oh, cool, that. He looked at me. I said, what did I say? I said, 200,000. Now, guess you get the much. Hmm? And I got on a go on. I got what if I knew. I went to 200,000. It's already the more. I said, Madam, as you are looking at me, eh? I don't have even food, food to eat in my house. I said, looking at me, I don't have one naira in my pocket. I said, you don't have one naira. Eh? You can go and borrow. Go and borrow and bring it. Because after the walk, <laughs> eh? Money will come. Boom. You may hold it. Okay, let me go. I will come back. And that is the end. You never come back to today. You don't want to hear the gospel. You want me to talk and to prophesy over your life. Change, you cannot change. Repent, you cannot repent. Sit down to read the scripture, you cannot. Fast, you cannot fast. Fast, you fast yourself. You can't 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 fast Because you want everything easy. You don't want to meet face to face with a life converter. Somebody who will enter into your case, your case are by zero. You don't understand. A man who you can touch, not only that he will enter into your case, he will transform both your life 
you are thinking faculty, your senses, you begin to think right and to do right things that is not foolish. That is the man I come to introduce. Life converter. The Bible says Zacchaeus desired to see him. He desired. But he has two major problems. In his desire to see God, he has problems. And one of the problems one way, is internal. And the other problem is genetic. And what is the internal problem? The Bible said the crowd. The what? The crowd. The crowd. The major problem is exactly or somewhere. To meet with Jesus face to face is the crowd. Brethren, I want us to know that the crowd often makes makes it difficult for a man to have a personal encounter with God. And what does that crowd mean? Considering what people can say. Considering what your friends can say. Hey! Considering what the crowd we say because of the level where you are, because of the type of person, the societal man you are, what will my friend say about me? And because of that, they hinder you to draw closer to touch a man that will make you a real man indeed. The Bible said the crowd. The crowd, oh, who is that crowd by your side? It can be your husband. It can be your wife. It can be your best sinful friend. No, again. And because of that, you step down. You refuse to go. But thank God for Zacchaeus. The Bible says Zacchaeus thought, What do I do to overcome the crowd? The Bible says he ran ahead the crowd. Tell someone to say, Run ahead the crowd. Tell someone to say, Run ahead the crowd. Run ahead the crowd. Zacchaeus ran ahead of the crowd in his personal seeking to touch God. He ran ahead of the crowd. When you are on your free account, I'm also. Eh? Rod Nukuto to do where? Also, I'm going to see my work in Kaharan. I'm going to go on a bench. He ran! But I your job. But I didn't do your job. But I you are same partners. Run ahead of them to meet with your master. Can you force the problem here? Yeah? His short nature. Okay, yeah? His short nature. The Bible says he was a short man. Hey, I don't know the Bible. We're talking about that sin can cut somebody short in the presence of God. Do you hear what I said? I said, sin cuts a man short in the presence of God. He cuts a man short. Sin can cut short a fellowship. Yes, now. Sin, physical sin, secret sin, can cut a man short in the presence of God. Eh? I'm going to go for you. See, I go to the Bible. I go on the Bible, no. That the Bible says in the book of a Proverbs chapter 5, chapter 6. On se gi mo okoro bia. Ka ara mu ye gi juga afo. Oku yo kore ba. On se drink water from your own fountain. From your own fountain. So there is a fountain in the life of your wife. 
Is that not true? The wife of your youth. And God said, drink water from that fountain. Why should you, why should you embrace another woman, a strange woman indeed, in your bosom and begin to disperse your life fountain abroad? When you go to road in here, more sense, what do you call your wife? Or do you break? Because the Bible said, now what can happen when you go? No, be a mommy here, Korea. He said, how can you carry fire into your bosom? Or whoever that touches another man's wife carries fire in his bosom. And that fire will burn you. He said, it will burn you. He will burn you beyond the expectations. Because you lack understanding. Ecclesiastes says, the one thing have I seen in the Bible that is too deadly than death. He said, a woman whose hand and heart were net. But he said, a man that fears God will escape her. But whoever that is foolish will fall in her traps. Do you say that I hear this? And that's why you must seek to know what God is saying. We are talking of life converter. Life converter. Hey, I saw that topic. I said, hey, Holy Ghost, you have come. Life converter. Sin can cut a man short. Sin can destroy a relationship. Sin can destroy a marriage. Sin in your body, in your life, can cause you a death. You are on the process of doing it, the man died on the top of the woman. Do one just put your yaka. She got my phone. You know, not there, my bank here. Hem, total phone, one day behind. Just then, I bet you that that blue man known. Never forget, I met him naked without pants. And that is how the young man died. A good agent here. For all my phone, why is that? I'm not trying to have a phone again. Thunder, Babu. And that is all. Rita. They could not find the woman, and the man had been there. Was dead, and they were buried. And was buried. Hallelujah. How did Zacchaeus overcome the short nature? Hey! How did he do it? But we say, as he ran ahead of the cloud, he saw a tree. He climbed up. That tree is here today. Amen. That tree is here today. I said he needed an internal work of grace to change his nature from a sinner to become a saint. He needed an internal work of grace. So what you need today is an internal work of grace in your life for your life to change for your life to change. Do you see what Jesus did? The Bible says when Jesus came where Lazarus was, nobody prophesied to him that Lazarus is on the tree. He stopped and looked up and said, Lazarus, come down. I wonder. Lazarus, make haste to come down. Can you want to get up here? Come down. Lazarus, make haste to come down. Tell somebody, accept, come down, my friend. Where that the way up is down. Where mother said the way up is down. So come down from your pride. Come down from your societal pride. Do you know who am I? Ha! Ah, I am a doctor. I am a lawyer. I am this. I am that. I'm an engineer. I had money. 
come down from that shout out of worldly positions where you hang to yourself. Come down from that entanglement, societal entanglement. You gotta come Come down. If you don't come down, you will find it difficult to meet with the master. Come down from your jeep of mammon. Ha! Leave those things and come down. The Bible said in the book of James, chapter 4, verse 7 to 10. He said, Draw an error to God, and God will draw an error to you. Man who can come to your town on the me. Come to him. Humble yourself. And he will lift you up. You look at the life of Zacchaeus. He has the report. He has the result. By his encounter with Jesus, every walk of darkness was exposed and renounced. By his only encounter with Jesus, every walk of darkness, in fact, both repentance, restitution, restoration, was the mark of Zacchaeus' encounter with God. Restoration, restitution, repentance. He said, Oh, our God Jesus. Oh, one of them, none of you know. When the night here and I knew you can. I got a poor cheer, magic, magic. Even if you are not coming here, can you feel me and Andrea? Because of a divine encounter to a life converter. His life was changed. He came to himself. He became a real man. This is what God will always do in a life of somebody when you encounter him. The second place I'm going to go to but the book of John chapter 4 1 to 3 the story of the woman of Samaritan. What was her life before he met with the life converter? The Bible says she was argumentation argumentative tribalistic and arrogant ha she was also a prostitute ha she was ignorant of god's gift though religiously with much knowledge before she met with christ she had unstable marriage and has married several men and yet was not at peace even with the present one yeah, yeah, nah, and I found such character he gave me fear he drew, oh, what type of person is this before she met Christ ha, she faithfully followed the tradition of her fathers but without knowing the God of her father Jacob but she followed the traditions before you know what happened, she came to draw water. What happened? She gave attendance to the places of worship. Rather than a personal knowledge of who they were worshipping. Number six. I said she was eager to receive the water that solves her immediate problem of not coming every day to the well to fetch physical water again but not the quenching of the real thirst of her spiritual life she was eager pastor excuse me excuse me pastor excuse so no kuni ne kuna de ono here you on e che wo mbaga ebe gini mbaga ezi ozi ki we nwe kegwe hey ahun ma ati sa na be mana na ezi no no be na ma de sa no ya apati sa no ga is that not true ezi no no be na ma de no 20 apati 20 no be ha on certainly they will just be going apati ana be re buru ha one by one so it is not a revelation, nor a prophecy. To say, ah, I'm not to say, sad, I beg you. <laughs> hey. 
he said, I'm going to say, you get my day. Kahiti, we're wild. You will be the mockery. Some people need to hear such things for them to cry and to draw nearer to God. Is that not true? Hey, Betty. Hey, <laughs> Is that not foolishness? But when there was a revelation that he never made him one. Now, two decades ago, and you can sit on the Babu Nera. No, when you're not, Honsa, Maganka Okura Daba. You want to hear evil things all the time. When you're a Bama and Bona, you're a 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 Bona, is that the only evil things pastor will be seen? Only evil things. At times we sue the good one. Is that not true? And also prophesy the good one. And the good one will come. Not all things evil. Not all things evil. What am I telling us? Number seven. The woman of Samaritan fell. She would fail for any man who foretells or had a word of knowledge of her situation. Even if it does not get to the root of getting her personal connected with God, she will fall. What are you doing there? The man to see, the man to hear. That is rubbish. <laughs> I called somebody. Say, I did. Oh, now, Mama, a bit of ministry. Do you hear what I said? I have been in ministry for thirty years. I have known so many, so many that has fleshed out. Do you know why? They started with revelations and visions and prophecies. Having the prophecy, having the revelation, and people were jump packing. But before you know what happened, they would just diminish like that. Bah! And we are still going. And we are still moving. Preaching this word. Preaching this word. Standing on this word. When the real revelation came, we give you revelations. When the prophecy came, we give you prophecy. Because we need all those things to be established in ministry. But not to use them as a foundation. Because if you use them as a foundation, you will fail along the line. Do you say that here? Do you say that here? I said number eight. She had a faint knowledge of the scripture concerning the Messiah. But not a personal encounter with him. In all distance, in all her troubles, she had been seeking to meet the right man in life. She looked for the Messiah in all men she had met in life, but find none that can satisfy her. Until she met with Jesus, the life transformer. Until she met with Jesus, the life converter. Until she met with Jesus, who has the key of life and death. Until she met with Jesus, face to face, her life now come to become what she desired to see. Hallelujah. I want you to note one thing. This woman could be typical of any religious, zealous person who is always in church. Always. Try and a church not to swan here. Try and here. Oh my. Talk why and He was a church rat. 
and yet without having a personal contact with the master. It's a typical of this woman. Very zealous. Always in the church. But not with a change of life. Why have you not experienced a deep and lasting encounter with God since you have been coming? Why have you not experienced a deep and encounter with God? Are you still seeking? Are you still seeking for the water that cannot satisfy? Are you seeking miracles, visions, prophecies? Or are you seeking the life converter himself? Can you look at Jesus over at that woman? He said, woman, give me a drink. Amen. He said, what? Give me a drink. I don't understand you. You know that we are in enmity with the Samaritans. We are to cry no no. We need to cry no no. Why are you asking me for water to drink? Jesus in Ayanya. I said, if you know the person that are asking this water, Nige mengwa mwa nye mmele kwa mwa. Makro ya hifu na yoke mmele. He is water of life himself. Na mwa 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 kwa mmele nkenge nyeke. I have water to give you. If I give you that water, you will never run dry again. You will never run dry again. You will need that water. Mwane kwa kwa yanyi. Masa waga. Mwane mwa ni heje se temmele. Hey, JJC. Johnny just come. Ana kwa hii hanki mama moja ni mimi interpret ni hanki kano ya imwe ni hii jesse tume ni yaka ndo kwenye kile imwe ni mimi osia well I have told you if you drink my own water you will never run dry again wata wana wenye katika ya sisi hey hey yao duka kavu I need that water I need it magana aho malinata adiye tume ni ya from a far place I need this water osia waga please give me that water give me and Jesus looked at her. Do you need this water? I said, yes. He said, go and call your husband. <laughs> hey! My way by into, into decisions. Into two opinions. What am I going to do? Am I going to tell the truth? Or do I leave this man go? After all, I don't know her. I don't know him. Do I leave him go? Or do I tell him who I am? Can you hold your Go and call your husband. Hey! Why I like that? Because you got that. But I need this water. Okay, what did you say? Go and call your husband. He said, "I'm sorry, I don't have a husband." Better I say the truth. I don't have a husband. Jesus said, "You talk the truth. You talk the truth because you have married the seven, and the one you are living with now is not even your husband." Please touch that man again, Anna. Touch him. Touch that woman, Jeremiah. That person you are living with, is he your wife or husband? Because Joya, that person you are living with, is he your wife? In my regard, is she? In the case of the one, that is the problem. So many men, why you don't have a better? In my regard, is she? Oh, but you want you want. I'm sorry, but they behind they are lobby and those. So many women run after a man. Did you ever? A man is going to see on a man now. Momo, they do it. Which is very wrong. Jesus said, "Go and call your husband." And these are the ways he used to get her into the unforgettable encounter with the redeemer. Hey, Jesus now caught the woman because he knew all men. He knew all men. I said, genuine encounter will always address the inner need and the situation of an individual's heart. The genuine encounter will always address the inner need, the inner situation of somebody's life. And that's why when you get really encountered with the master, something tangible must have happened to your life. Hey, the Bible says, and the woman looked at him. The fire came upon him. 
The fire came upon her. You can never meet with the fire and remain the same. Because the life converter is a fire. It's a burning fire. You can never touch him. And said, eh, I will come when you will. Uh, I become natural with you. Eh, I'm going to come near me. Where? What I'm going to come near me. Eh, I'm going to name a maybe. You, you have never even tested the cross. You are not even born again. Do you hear what I said? Because the Bible says that anger is a seed of the devil. And the worst in the bosom of the fools. So for you to operate anger in the world, you are a mad. Because he said, No, no, king, we but one no, nyara. Is that not true? No, 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 we no, 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 man no, 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 you can never touch with fire and yet you don't receive grace to forgive. You bear grudge. You bear grudge. Oh my family, no, no, can be. You question each of eh? You put a better choice and begin to display it. Are you mad? What do I say? The woman ran. When the fire came on her, she dropped her water pot. There is water pot you need to drop. She dropped her water pot that she carried for many years. Water pot of unforgiven spirit. Water pot of fornications and adultery. Water pot of anger and lies and hypocrisy. Water pot of secret sin. What about of lies? She dropped it, the bagger. She ran with a new anointing. She ran with a new life. Crying out with a loud voice. Come on, come and see. The man who told me whom I am. Come and see. Oh. Come and see. Because the fire was on her. Can you run and see you? Come and see the man. Who told me who I am? Because there is a transformation. Because there is a restoration. Because there is a converter. The life has been converted. The spirit has been converted. The soul has been converted. The conduct has been changed. The man, the woman was transformed. And she ran with that anointing. You... You have been in the church for so many years and yet without an impact because you are coming to receive miracles and visions and prophecies you have been in the church for so many years and yet without a testimony of how god converts your life you have been in the church are you not a wasted tree that waste away the grace of the man of god preaching upon preaching Prayer upon prayer, yet you are still the same person you are. The same old man, the same old woman. If any lady managi, we na ake magin chegari, aka jia managi, where we tata. What is wrong with you? Ha! I said she was no more defensive or argumentative. She was no more seeking theological explanations. She had a simple message. Come and see the man who told me everything I have ever did. Can you do the same thing today? The woman of Samaritan came to the well of Jacob empty-handed and dried. She came confused, but she left with joy. If only you were yield. This is another opportunity. God of Abraham is another opportunity for somebody to meet with the master. God of Abraham is another opportunity to touch the life converter. If your life is wrong, if the foundation of your life is being messed up, if your Christian life is messed up, 
you just ran to hide under the wings of this ministry and yet you still live in sin you will go to hell oh. yes you will so you better come to the altar and tell God oh, do you know whom I am? Jacob do you know the question came to Jacob two times do you know that? the first one, the Jacob came the question came and asked who are you? What did he say? He said, I am Esau. The first time. Who are you? I am Esau. He said, by this voice I'm hearing, you know, it is not about the voice of uh, Jacob. Please, draw near and let me touch you. Because here I am a man, I'm going to go. 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 This hand is the hand of Esau. But the voice is the voice of Jacob. Do you say you are? He said, I am Esau. Your first born. <laughs> and that lies took him 20 years of suffering. Do you know that? That lies alone took him away from his father's house to a strange land where he spent 14 years. <laughs> that lies alone. And yet he came back to meet God that his life will be changed and yet not without the scars. Not without pain. Not without suffering. He suffered and suffered and suffered. And when he come to God to make amendment, the Bible says he touched the stock of his son, leg. God gave him a mark to his disobedience. Do you hear what I said? So when the second question come again, <laughs> who are you? <laughs> It is not time to say the truth. Eh, who are you now? Okay, see now, I am Esau again. You could say it again, I am Esau. But this time, I am no more Esau. <laughs> I am Jacob, please, I am Jacob. I say, okay, now that you said the truth, your name is changed. You are no longer Jacob, but Israel. Can somebody run to the altar to tell the master the truth this afternoon? Can somebody run to the altar to say, God, this is whom I am. I have come to tell you the truth of my life. The truth of whom I am. Forget about all my jumping up and down. This is the real me. Please, if you are ready to come, if you are ready to come with me, come to the altar, please. 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 The door is open. The door of mercy. The door of mercy. The door of mercy is open. The door of mercy. The door of mercy is open. The door of mercy is open. The door of mercy is open. It might be a seba, no jidri bia, but a kuwa kan go zi chileke. It might be a seba, no jidri bia, but a kuwa kan go zi chileke. It might be a chua, no jidri bia, but a kuwa kan go zi chileke. For God knows whom you are. Brother God knows whom you are. Sister God knows whom you are. He knows. Ah, he knows. Yes, I want to ask you if you know there is a particular character you are struggling with and you, you could not overcome it please come to the altar a particular character you have given your life to Christ several times but there is a character in you you don't like you don't like it. I have been praying and trying to stop it. And it could not. 
This is an opportunity. Come to the altar and drop it. 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 Don't call that. Don't Confesses to you as a sin. Take it away from me. I've been struggling to release myself from this, but I could not. I need internal grace. I need grace. Life converter. Please convert my soul. Convert my life. Convert my life. Convert my soul. Convert my soul. With your fire. With their word, convert my life. I release myself into your hands. I don't know what else to do. I need your help. But I need your help. I need your help on this. 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 Please help me. Please help me, Lord. Please help me. Please help me, Lord. Please help me. Please help me, Lord. Please help me. Uproot every seed of anger, seed of lust, seed of lust. Uproot it, seed of fornications. Uproot, Lord. Uproot, Lord. Uproot. Make me whole. 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 And so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. But make sure no can be better. Ha! Land the sea canal, but they are cutting and massing under the hill. Papa, you said in your scriptures, not to go on your garden to take it and happen. Never sarak, never not a joy cigar at all. See if I know one. But today, these ones have come to you. Baba, they come to you as they are. Telling you the truth of their life. You can't keep quiet over them. You can never keep quiet. Lord, look upon these ones at this altar. Look down on them. Can you give me the hammer this afternoon? Look into their case. Look into their trouble. Look into the challenge, the challenge of their life. Accept them as a sacrifice. As I begin to offer them to you, I offer them as a sacrifice. Accept them from my hands as a sacrifice. I offer their life. I offer their future. I offer their destiny. I offer their desires. I offer their hearts. Lord, accept them 
as a sacrifice from my hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Satan, may the Lord rebuke you this afternoon over their life. From this other Lord, I cry unto you any seed of arrogance, any seed of sin, any seed of evil the enemy has planted in their life in order to destroy them, in order to bring them down to the pit of hell. Under divine mandate, under divine authority, according to the word of God, in the book of Matthew 15, 13, the Bible says, whatever the Lord did not sow, must be uprooted. Lord, I command, let that seed be uprooted Amen. from their heart, Amen. from their spirit, Amen. from their soul, Amen. from their blood capillaries. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let the transforming power of God come upon you this afternoon. Amen. Let the transforming fire of the Holy Ghost come upon you from this altar. Amen. Receive transformation. Amen. Receive regression. Amen. Hey, Father! Amen. Let there be change. Let there be transformation. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father God, I commit them into your mighty car. Open a new chapter for their life. A new chapter, a better chapter for them. That from today, their line will fall in pleasant places. Amen. And things about them will receive a positive change. Amen. And those things they could not do before, which are good, they will begin to do it and begin to prosper. Amen. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May the Lord accept you as a sacrifice. Amen. May the Lord enter into your case. Amen. May you go home with a testimony. Amen. From this day, let your heavens open Amen. over your head. And whatever you shall lay your hands to do from now, you will prosper. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. As the Lord changed the name of Jacob, the Lord is changing your name this afternoon. Amen. The Lord is bringing a new thing over your life. Amen. As God blesses Jacob, so God will bless you this afternoon. Amen. And you will go home in that blessings. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We cover you with the precious blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Anoint yourself and go. I talk again at that spot. Anoint yourself. Good. To seal these prayers. I talk again at the oil. Anoint yourself. Yes. I talk again at this oil. Anoint yourself. Every other person come up to the altar. Let us pray. Every other person, please come up. Come closer. Come closer. Draw closer to the altar. Everybody. 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 Yes,
want you to hold God and refuse to let him go. Hold God. Refuse to let him go. Because of one particular problem you came with. It is time to hold him up. I must drop it here. Yes. And for this case, you will never follow me home. You I am here to you meet you with the life of Patras. You will never follow me home. Yes, Lord. You will never follow me home. Lord, I Father, Father, somebody up here, what I'm praying. Father, in the name of the life of Patras. You will be shattered in the Gabbana. What I'm praying. Can you come up with some of the Gabbana? Can you come up Lord, he said, I shall call upon thee in the days of trouble. I have no truth for this, so I shall be great and mighty. Oh, see. Father, lift up my voice, oh God. I have no truth for this, so I shall be great and mighty. Oh, see. Oh, I have no truth for this, so I shall be great and mighty. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Look, you can play yourself out. Say, I can. I can. <laughs> Do you know what I said? Yes, sir. You can create things by yourself. Yes. There is power in your mouth. Exactly. And Bible says you shall decree a thing. And that thing shall come to pass. Amen. And light shall shine upon your ways. Amen. And God said, Whatever I had you speak in my ears, I hear you. That is what I will do. Yes. Eh? He said, In your tongue, there is power of death and life. So you need to choose one. With this, your mouth this afternoon, I want you to recreate your life history. What do you want to become in life? That's what I want you to pray. Eh? We are serious. So. Use your tongue to begin to recreate things. There are things that needed to expire in your life and in your family. Also, you have no transgenerational. It must end as far as you speak. Say, I can. I can. I can. Change my history. Change my history. Through the divine help. Through the divine help of the life converter. Of the life of Say, my father and my God. My father and my God. As I stand to pray. As I stand to pray. I speak into my life. I speak into my life. I speak into my future. I speak into my future. I speak into my family. I speak into my family. Let there be a positive change. Let there be a positive change. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Also, I begin to talk. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I begin to speak into my future. I begin to speak into my destiny. I begin to speak into my ministry. I begin to speak into my marriage. I begin to speak into my vision. I begin to speak into my expectation. Wherever I run, Oh, 
Can we do something for the Lord Jesus Christ? Celebrate the Lord if you want to celebrate Him. Lies on your feet as you celebrate the Lord. Begin to stretch your foot, stretch forth your hand upon the servant of God. The instrument the Lord have just used for you. Impact him with more grace, more oil to function. Let there be increase of the lost oil upon her. Lord, we ask for let the oil be increasing upon her ministry. The virtue of the grace, the oil that have gone out of your maiden servant. Lord, my father, I pray that you will refill her. Lord, refill her. As we pray, so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Put your hands together for the Lord. Offering time. Bless. Offering time. Please package your offering envelopes, your seed of faith, and uh, your building seed. Please do fast. Your offering, offering seed of faith, building seed. Praise the Lord. Please package a quality offering unto the Lord. David said that I will not give unto God. That will cost me nothing. Package a quality offering unto the Lord. An offering that will provoke heaven to convert your life like never before. Let's be on our feet as we honor the Lord. Have. Offering. Let's be on our feet. Raise that offering to the heavenlies. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this offering. We declare them blessed. Out of the abundance you have given us, we have brought this token to honor you. Father, I say, may I receive this as sweet smelling sour unto you. Will this bless us mightily in the name of Jesus? You said in your word, give it shall be given unto us. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, rolling over shall be given unto our own bosom. Father, with this offering, launch each and every one of us to the realm of overflows in the name of Jesus. When the word are saying that is a casting down, ours shall be lifting up in the name of Jesus. When others are complaining of hardship, we shall be experiencing overflow in every dimension of our lives in the name of Jesus. Thank you, good God. Blessed be unto your holy name. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus,
Just one person. Shout hallelujah! Hallelujah! Somebody shout power! Power! Without wasting much of our time, we'll be going into the first thought of the day. Jam your hands together for the Lord. We are about to take the fourth slot into today's service. Listen. This is what you need at this time. This is what we need. Many people are seeking miracles, signs, and wonders. And those things are good. But that's are not the priorities. There are things we need at this time. And that is the word of God. Because it's only in the world you can be consoled. It's only in the world you can be revived. Amen, somebody. A message was taken from our mama this afternoon. And one thing I picked from that message about Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus went to the Lord knowing who he is. Zacchaeus doesn't need Jesus to tell him who he is because already he knew whom he is. Even when he was persuaded to come to the house, he said, I am not worthy, I am not qualified because already he knew himself. So we don't need anybody that will come to tell us uh, you are tall, you are short, you are black or you are yellow. Already we know we are tall and black. We don't need anybody to tell us that our house, at the back of our house, there is a plantain tree. We know already there is a plantain tree. We are here because we know what we are and we know whom we are and we come for a life converter. We might not be open to men to tell them whom we are but we already know what we are and that is why God said I am a life converter. So we are here because we want a hand that will convert our lives. Remember I told you that combating life has to be through process. It must go through process. And that is one of the things we are doing now. Because number one process you need to undergo is the word of God. When you hear the word, it brings about changing. If you don't know the truth, the truth can never set you free. You need to know the truth first. And by knowing truth, it comes come by hearing. When you hear the truth, you know the truth, and the truth will set you free. 
So we are here. That is why I said that in this program, it's a program that is packaged for the world. And the world brings about changing of life. So this is the sports slot. We'll be taking into this rest service. God has prepared a man for us. He has used him before. He has been using him before. And he still wants to use him again. Join me and celebrate his grace. As I welcome to the podium, the great spiritual Buddha. The man that God have used in destroying many deities. I call him. Join me and celebrate his guests as I welcome to the Zero Podium. Evangelist Chisum Bon Great. The only man that they born great. The only man that they born. Are you jealous of his anointing? Celebrate him. Amen. Amen. If you know you are not jealous of his anointing, can you celebrate him? Woo! Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. If you are happy, can I hear better? Amen. Amen. If you are not tired of getting blessed, shout a better Amen. Amen. If you know that today is your own turn, shout a better amen. Amen. If you know that this program today will convert your life from negative to positive, stand up and holler amen three times like a thunder. Amen. Number two. Amen. And number three. Amen. Help me go to three persons and tell them it is my turn. It is my turn. Do it very prophetic. It is my turn. Very prophetic. It is my turn. 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 Increase it to seven persons. Tell them it is my turn. 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 If you lift your hand and shout amen, I declare it is your turn. Amen. I declare it is your turn. Amen. I declare again, it is your turn. Amen. Everybody stand up and stretch your hand towards me. I would like the mega person to walk with me. In Esther chapter 2 and verse 15, the Bible said that when it was the turn of esther the daughter of abihel the uncle of mordecai she didn't look for anything but only what the king Zinoch had commanded her and the bible said that esther found favor in the sight of all that saw her i love you to know that life is torn by torn when your neighbor is celebrating celebrate your neighbor because tomorrow will be your turn amen is, is somebody hearing me here yes sir it was other people's turn but once it was esther's turn there was something new we discovered esther found favor in the sight of all can i explain a little bit about all all means including those that love you and those that hate you all means including your friends and your enemies all means including those you are looking up to and those who are looking up to you can i speak upon 18 persons here as your amen shall be louder you will find favor in the sight of all you will find favor in the sight of all you will find favor in the sight of all you will find favor in the sight of all lift your hand and shout it is my turn it is my turn. Uh, are you with me? I am with you. Before I continue, I, my our guy is here. The Archbishop, Amen, Joseph, please help me celebrate him. Woo! Me celebrate him. Glory. Amen. Amen. Follow me carefully. Listen. The Bible said, when it was the turn of Esther, 
I want to say something here. Listen carefully. There is this thing that happens to people. When it is somebody's turn, some people may be at one corner crying. Mm. Say, God, I, I remember that I am the first son in this family. How come this second son made money before me? We can be classmates, but not gracemates. I hear you. Are you hearing me? I hear you. Can I say it again? Can I say it again? We can be classmates, but not classmates. And even in the Catholic Church, even if a mother gives birth to a son, the day that boy metamorphose and become a reverend father, even the mother will call him father. <laughs> At that junction, she no longer sees him as a son. She now sees him as a father. Listen to me. Don't envy a man that is in his harvest season. Life is torn by torn. There are people who are in their sowing season. When you are sowing, relax because your harvest will come. I see a little girl that just got married. And she's envying a woman that bought a bag, 300,000. This woman had been married for 18 years, suffered with her husband and rose. She came to church with a bag, 300,000. You were just marrying a man waiting for one room and power. You are saying, God, look at that woman. 18 years of pain. Now, it is her turn to rejoice. Life is torn by torn. Until it gets to my turn, I will keep clapping for others. Mm. Because when it gets to my turn, others will clap for, for me. me. That is why when your neighbor buys a car, go to his house and give him money for fuel. When your neighbor begins to build, go to that building site and buy a bag of cement and say, I am supporting because he Let your hands, I want to pray. The Lord told me before I came here that it is some people's turn to rejoice. Let your two hands, I want to declare. As your name shall be louder, it is your turn to rejoice. It is your turn to be celebrated. It is your turn to find favor. I declare it is your turn. I declare it is your turn. It is my turn. Somebody shout, it is my turn. It is my turn. Say it again, it is my turn. It is my turn. Say it one more time, it is. My God, it is
Somebody say, my own turn is coming. My own turn is coming. I came to encourage you. There is a way you will be living and it will look as if turn no go reach you. Relax. Relax. Your own turn is coming. It's coming. When it looks as if God is getting late in your life, it is because he wants to give you the latest. Amen. The first house that was built in my village is not the best. Come and see the latest one. <laughs> God is not a late comer. Anytime he comes, he is on time. Mm -hmm. Are late? Yes, sir. And super Anytime God comes, he is on time. They were calling him. Lazarus is sick. Come and heal him. And the Bible says he stayed longer. Four days after he came. Because that was the appointed time. Somebody could have asked, why didn't he come on time? Why didn't he come in the morning? Why didn't he come on the first day? If he came on the first day, people would say, now ordinary headache and malaria. If he came on the second day, they would say, eh, we know now. Eh, the person that died on the first day, there is every tendency that he may be in coma. But after four days, this guy was thinking, what will you say? When it is taking longer, the testimony is piling up. seed are not the same thing i hear you their time of growth are not the same thing if you want a food you will eat under one day and forget about it go and plant a country but if you want to eat if you want to eat and even your children will eat go and plant a mango seed <laughs> <laughs> generation there is lack of the word mm. even though there are many preachers everywhere there are lack of the word can obviously share with you if you must live in a time like this and stand you must know the word yes in the beginning was the word mm -hmm. and the word was with God mm -hmm. and the word was God permit me to say it like this the amount of the word of God you have in you is the amount of God you have in you And saw the pattern of this program that it is word upon word mm. as a child what a level of grace i can prophesy to you and you will still go to hell exactly but you cannot have the word what? and go to, go hell to hell because the word is god i hear you the word is god mm. 
when Satan tempted Jesus, he didn't shout, I prophesy. Nobody told him, go deeper, daddy. Mm -hmm. What he said was, it is written. Oh. It is written. My hope this is built on nothing. That Jesus love has just never I cannot trust that she does not you eat just to your flesh the word of god does to your inner man are you with me if you read your bible very well isaiah chapter 10 and verse 27 from the niv version the bible said it shall come to pass on that day that his burden shall be lifted off your shoulder and the yoke of thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because you have grown so fat that is how niv put it how do people grow fat they grow fat when they eat so the more you eat the word the more you are growing can i explain what it means listen to me before now i used to be lesser than this there are clothes I will wear, I will feel comfortable. Uh -huh. Now, but now that I have eaten and I have grown fat, uh -huh. there are by law and principle, uh -huh. there are clothes that cannot enter me. If you. they enter, they must tear. I hear you. So when you are lean in the realm of the spirit, there are some yokes that can stay. But by the time you grow, there are some yokes that will break out. I hear you. you cannot take the clothes of a five years old child and put on an old man of 25 years mm -mm. what's not possible it won't work oh yeah doctor yes it won't work oh yeah doggy yes, so the more you are growing in the world there are certain yokes that will break out naturally even in satan and your all your villagers carry the yoke to put on you it cannot enter do you know why you have outgrown it? Hey, look up behind here. Is, is somebody following me here? Yes, sir. Stretch your hands, can barely get better. From this altar, before you leave this ground, I decree: May your spirit man outgrow that yoke. Oh, May your spirit man outgrow that yoke. Oh, May your spirit man outgrow that yoke. Oh, Lift your hand and shout fire. Fire.
on a journey. Are you with me? I hear you. Can we travel on this journey together? We are together. Follow me carefully. In First Samuel chapter 9 from verse 1, the Bible told us of a man called Kish that has a very handsome tall young man by the name Saul. And one day, the donkey of Kish got missing. I thought that was the problem. But later I discovered that that was not the problem. And Kish said, Saul, go and look for my donkey. You can't I'll stay here and my donkey will get lost. And Saul set out, carried his servants. They searched everywhere in the town. And all the neighboring towns, they couldn't find the donkey. My question is this, who hid the donkey? The baby called Saul. Hear me. When God decides to hide something, look for it anyway, you can't find it. I hear you. I discovered that that donkey didn't lose. It was God who took it. Follow me carefully. They searched everywhere, ransacked everywhere. They couldn't find the donkey. Even if they buried it, they would have seen where they buried it. Because when Jesus came to raise Lazarus, he said, where did you bury him? So there was a trace. But we couldn't find a trace of where this donkey was. We didn't know that God was doing something. And while the journey was going on, Saul was about tired. He said, I have given up. I will not find again. Let me go back home and continue with my problem. And the mate said, no, don't just go like that. There is a prophet in this town. Let us go and inquire. Can I pray? May the Lord give you that friend that will bring you before God. Amen. Stretch your tongue and can belly get belly. Listen to me. There are friends you will have. Your Christian life will go down. I hear you. And there are friends you will have. Even when you are about to miss it, they will bring you back. The blessing of a man's life is not in how much he has. It's in the people that surround him. I hear you. Show me a man that will stand the test of time. I will show you a man surrounded by good men. Show you. me a man that will fall. I will show you a man surrounded by evil people. And that day, Saul saw and said, no, 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 don't go, don't go, don't go. Let us go and check. And when they came before the man of God, before they came, God told the man of God, a young man is coming. When he comes, tell him there is no need to look for it. What is looking for has been found. There is a higher calling. I stand over while you are above. A higher calling. Listen, listen. Saul was looking for a donkey that was lost. But God was looking for him to make him a king. Where he was looking for a donkey, he didn't know that God was looking for a king. God had to take away the donkey in order to call him and make him a king. Some people came here, maybe because there was a trouble in their family. Maybe she even came here, Lord, when will you take away this reproach and make me a mother? And God is saying, I didn't bring you to give you children. I brought you to bring out the kingship in you. Hmm. But Saul would not have become a king until he came. Remember yesterday, God told us, when you come, you become. When you come, you become. Yes. It is by coming that we become. So God needed to take something out in order for Saul to come. Some of you did not come here with Anyoma. Something was taken out and you came. But hear me. You will not only find what you came for. There is something more than that. It is called destiny. It is called purpose. It is called power. There is an originality in you. That the day you were born, heaven signed it. But God needed to take away something that I'm taking away your attraction to bring you. Can I pray? Right on this ground. To everyone who came here. As to amen shall be loud that you will find purpose. Amen. So many years ago, a man came for prayer. Because his business was going down. But he didn't know that the business was not a problem. As he came 
for prayer we were praying in the course of praying things were not getting better one day i asked god god what is happening god said there is a call in his family i want to manifest i kept quiet two months after the wife became so angry with the husband's situation and began to pray midnight prayers in the course of praying midnight prayers god told the woman gather women around your compound and be praying together from gathering women in less than two months ministry started and i asked god what is happening god said this is the reason why i asked that man's business to close so that this woman's call can manifest because when the woman got married to the man the man stopped her from going to church Somebody say, I will come. I will come. No, I didn't hear you say, I will come. I will come. No, 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 no. Say, I will come. I will come. Say again, I will come. I will come. Stretch your two hands. I want your prayer. So, the donkey was not a problem. There is a kingship that needs to come. And somebody needs to take the step so that God can place the crown on him. Don't forget, when you come, you become God. I declare you have come before his throne the throne of life converter mm -hmm. who changes the life of men from nothing to something far beyond what you are asking or seeking I declare over your family may heaven download on you eternal realities Amen. may heaven download on you eternal realities Amen. may heaven download
will look for an intelligent boy and convert him to become Olodo. And you'll be wondering, how come I am paying such amount of money on my son? And every day he comes back, he cannot achieve anything. Mathematics fail, English fail. And you are beating the boy, but you don't know. An altar has held his life and turned it upside down. Stretch your hands, can better get better. If you love yourself and your children, let your amen shake heaven with faith. Any altar assigned to frustrate your efforts over your children. Fire! If you shout amen, let that altar scatter by fire! Hey, amen! Somebody shout amen three times and one fire! Hey, amen! 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 Fire! Lift your voice and shout, my effort will not be scattered! My effort shall not be scattered! Say it again, my effort shall not be scattered! My labor shall not be scattered! Lift your right hand and shout, fire! 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 Listen to me, listen to me. There are people hearing my voice. By the time we are done with this service today, you will receive a call of good news. Amen. Before I came here, the Lord showed me a lady. You and your brother are into, I don't know if two of you are handling the same business. You and your brother, the same business. As the Lord God leave it, watch out. After now, there are three doors that will open for that business. Amen. Three doors, three doors. One, two, and three. You will return back to this altar and say, indeed, God has answered you. Amen. Somebody declare with me, I will not waste my time. I will not waste my time. I didn't hear you say it again. Say, I will not waste my time. I will not waste my time. Shout it one more time. I will not waste my time. I will not waste my time. Stretch your right hand. Come there before I preach. Whatever is assigned to waste your time, on this altar, let that thing be wasted by fire. Amen. Listen, your time is your life. Anything that wastes your time has wasted your life. Every one minute of your life that comes does not return again. In the history of the world, you see today, today, today is what? The 20th day in the month of March, 2024. If the time now is 2 o'clock, 2 o'clock on the 20th of March, 2024 will never return again. So, if something succeeds to waste your one hour, they have wasted the one hour of your life. Can I declare upon persons here? Oh, yes. This year is still fresh. Anything Satan has programmed to waste... Whatever Satan has assigned to waste your time this year, if you shout amen, let that thing be wasted by fire. Oh, amen. Let the waste that be wasted by fire. Oh, amen. Let the waste that be wasted by fire. Oh, amen. Somebody shout amen like a thunder. Are you with your Bible? Let me show you a scripture, Psalm 100 and verse 4. You are shed Zion's Become, you don't come anyhow. There is a way you must come. Let's look at the matter now. Are you with me? If you must come before God and become, keyboard is privileged on another keyboard. If you must come before God and become, you must not come anyhow. God is not an anyhow God. 
he is a God of principle. Are you with me? Even though God loves you, he has not lowered his standard. The standard of God stands dead sure. sure. Are you following me this afternoon? So there is a way to come. Now, how do I come? How do I come? If I must come and be gone. Number one, you must come with gratitude. Somebody say gratitude. Gratitude. Somebody say gratitude. gratitude. Look at that scripture. Psalm 100 and verse 4. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. And into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. If you must come before God and become, you must come with a heart full of gratitude. Listen to me. Until you are thoughtful, you cannot be thankful. And until you are thankful, your thank cannot be full. Let me say it again. Until you are thoughtful, you cannot be thankful. Until you are thankful, your thank cannot be full. I hear you. The way to be grateful before God is to sit down and think. Some of us came to Lagos empty-handed. Today you are a landlord. <laughs> Some people came to Lagos to serve somebody. As someone boy, today you have houses and cars. Some women are here. You know some of your mates that are not even married yet. But you are married with four children. Some of you came to Lagos to do a house care. Today, God has helped you. This is the things you remember and mm. you become thankful. Mm. There are many people who come before God. The first thing they come with is complain. God, you have not done this one. You have not done that one. You have not helped me. You are, and God is saying, what of the ones I did? Four times you entered the labor room. The first one, you saw death face to face and God delivered you. Second one, they even thought you would not deliver, but God came through for you. Third one, they said you should sign for CS. All of a sudden, God came through for you. The last one, there were so many messages of death. And God entered the labor room when your husband wasn't there. And he brought you out alive. And today, you are before God complaining. You are an ingrate. Mm. When you are ungrateful, you become a grateful. I've told you here on this altar, if you cannot thank God for the child, it will become cha cha. And cha better pass cha cha. No, cha better pass cha cha. Exactly. If you cannot thank God for the child, naya wo cha cha. So, how do I come? When you are coming, come with a heart full of gratitude. He has done more than enough. Only waking up every morning is enough testimony. Some of you are here, you are not begging for food. There are some of you here that are listening to me. You have gone through hell. You have seen problems. But anytime you come out, you don't look like what you have been through. Mm. sometimes mm. when you tell your stories people are asking did this thing actually happen to you because you don't look like it at all I hear you lift your hand and say thank you Jesus thank you Jesus sir this is how to come the first thing you do if you must enter into his gate it must be with thanks giving and you cannot be thankful until you are thoughtful. Sit down and think. Let me teach you. Before you pray and thank God, sit down and think first. When you think enough, you will see reasons. I have come to realize in the church, sir, the most short prayer that people pray in church is the prayer of thanksgiving. Let us lift our voice and thank God. Ba, 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 ba. Lift your voice and ask God for mercy. Ba, 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 ba. Let up now and lift your voice. Any power fighting your father, fighting your mother, die by fire. Egodo, Egada, Eda, 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 Your head is almost falling down. People will spend hours in burning the devil and spend only a second to thank God. And we forget that when you thank him for what he has done, 
Somebody came to this service now and you are still hoping for a child in your belly. And when it is time for Thanksgiving, you carry fowl. Father, I thank you for my two age man. Father, I thank you for gate drop boy. You are not the one hoping God now. Thanksgiving engages God. You thank him for what he has done, what he is doing, and what he will still do. When you are faced with difficult matters, mm. uh, I hope my singers will forgive me. There, there, are, there are times we meet challenges. The kind of songs we sing oh. may not even move God to do something. No. If, if somebody there, where is that person? Put it 7 Chronicles 20 20. Let me show you something. <laughs> where is he? And they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah. And he Believe in the Lord your God, so shall ye be established. Believe his prophet, so shall ye prosper. The next verse, quickly. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed singers unto the Lord that they should praise the beauty of holiness as they went out before the army and to say what is their praises can we together want to go praise the lord for his mercy endure it forever the next verse and when they began to sing and to praise the lord and to praise the lord set ambushments against the children of ammon moab and mount Seir, which were come against judah and they were smitten. 
songs are not okay. They are warfare songs. But God told them, praise me. There is a difference between praise and warfare. Learn it. But some worshippers, tell them to come. Let Lift your hand. Let's worship God. The song you will hear is, we stay the years, we stay. He will take it at your own. He will say your own. I didn't waste my own. We stay the years, we stay the years. So foolish. Nah, I don't understand this man kept what to say is praise the Lord for his mercy and endure it forever. Song may not sound powerful, but it entered the ears of Elohim. Because God inhabits the, the praises of his people. Do you want to build a home for God? Praise him. Is our God praise? Do you do you want to do you want to? Give him a place in your house. Praise him. And by the time they began to praise, we saw the resultant effect. They didn't fight the battle. God came and took over the battle. And their enemies began to kill themselves. Somebody is learning something now. Madam, go back home and pray God. Stop all this complaining up and down. Stop all this complaining. Stop the crying. Go back. Lock up your room. Put that music. If you cannot sing, begin to dance. Man of God, talk to me, sir. I, I discover that the attitude we put up when in pain matters a lot. Yes, sir. I saw two characters in the scripture representing two group of Christians. Yes, sir. One was led by John the Baptist in prison. In prison. But while in prison, instead of John to praise God, instead of John to dance to God, he was busy questioning God. Yeah. It was moment of asking God, why me? To the extent that he sent messengers to go and ask, are you the same Jesus who I have been praying to? Are you the same Jesus who I have prepared his way? But while young girl dance before the king dance, of the earth, dance. the same thing that heaven was expecting John the Baptist to do, and immediately he danced. That dance regards the king to behead John the Baptist. 
I discovered that if you can praise God in any situation, God will show up. Sir, Paul and Silas that you mentioned were in the same situation that John found himself. Sir, but their attitude was different. different. And the midnight, in the midst of the pain, they begin to worship God. And as they were praising God, the God that inhabits in the praise of his people showed up because Christianity is the only group where they worship live inside the worship. He said, I will live in you and also within you. The God who is within and also outside. And why they began to praise God? You see, the attitude, like you said, burns everything. It is human action that determines divine reaction. When people put the right action, heaven will react. And heaven began to come down. And when divinity entered prison for the first time, the prison could not contain divinity. All the doors began to open. The foundation began to shake. And the bounds of their chain began to break. Can I speak upon the thing of you here? Yes. And so heaven shall be louder. Every chain that came with you, that chain must break. was visited yes sir the best way to deal with foundational error is to form a habit of praise you can praise god and god will not visit the foundations of your families of your marriage of your business i come to make a prophetic statement everyone that we praise god from his heart whatever be the foundational error that has been breaking us and dance in your life at the loudest of your amen god will correct that error amen god will correct that error amen little voice shout that amen three times amen 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 stretch your right hand i want to pray some years ago, during my grandmother's burial, I came with my father for the burial. And when we came, we came with Ego Geni. When we entered the compound with our Ego Geni, at that point, the band players that were playing saw that I entered. And they asked somebody, who is that guy? They told him my name. This guy will be doing my father. I didn't know when I left my mother and I faced the singer and began to release money. Okay, Bobo, say I don't worry, give me, I will transfer later. I stood there and spray 150,000. By the time I left, my eyes now open and I began to wonder, hey. who touched me somewhere? Hey. And God said to me, this is how my people collect from me. Hey. If you know how to give me what I eat, I know how to release. Can I speak upon somebody here? As you leave some voice to praise God, you know how to release what belongs to you. Hey. Hey. That scripture said in Psalm 100 and verse 4, it said, Thanksgiving brings you into the gates, praises brings you into the courts. So that you enter the gates is not a guarantee that the king will see you. The king is inside the court, the inner chamber, and the court is where matters are handled. In some way, you were surprised that you didn't know when you brought out money. Yes, sir. When Paul and Silas were praising God, the Bible took record of this suddenly, suddenly, unexpectedly. They were not expecting their release. They were not expecting the miracle. 
unexpectedly. The Bible says all the doors we are open. So when you begin to bless God, something miracle take place. Something change take place. Psalm 126 says, when the Lord turned again, the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream dreams. We were not expecting it. All of a sudden, I woke up one morning and I checked my body. The pain is gone. I was not expecting it. All of a sudden, I woke up one morning and I discovered I am pregnant. I was not expecting it. I woke up one morning, discovered that the cause was broken. It was like a dream. Ask them how many that we tell you I can't explain. I can't explain. Can I pray for about 10 of you? A miracle that you are not expecting. A blessing that you are not expecting. As you bless God from today, let there be a sudden miracle. Amen. Let there be a sudden miracle. Amen. And the Bible says suddenly, all the door. The last time I checked, all the door means all the doors. He did not open the door for marriage yes, and close the door for conception. Yes, he did not open the door to travel abroad oh, oh. and close the door of making well. Yes, sir. All the doors. Lift your voice, shout all the doors. All, all the doors. doors. Every door that is closed in your life. Every door that is closed against you. Hey. As you live a life of praises from today, yes. I declare those doors open. Hey. Amen. I declare those doors open. Hey. Amen. Lift your voice, shout at them and louder. Amen. Hey.
that everyone's chains broke. There is something that any time I hear about chain, it breaks my heart. Chain, we hold somebody who is going far and keep them one place. Age and accounts, Manonya and Ovuebe. Chain sponsors the lady. I hate one thing about delay. Delay can hold everything, but delay cannot hold your age. I will agree with delay only the day delay can be hold on age. If delay can keep me one place for five years and also stop my year from counting, I don't have an issue. But if delay will not stop my age, but can stop other things, I have an issue with delay. There are some ladies assigned by God to marry at 24. Delay will tell them wait. 40 years, they are still looking for husband. Age and account. They are mates and agonies. But that day the Bible said that Paul and Silas, they sang unto God. And I told you that that kind of praise is not the normal one. It is normal to buy a car and start dancing. It is normal to build a house and start singing. It is normal to give birth to a child and start singing. It is not normal to attend the wedding of your younger sister, your third younger sister. And she even called you to do her as she be a bridesmaid. It is not normal to attend that wedding and come back and start dancing. But the Bible told me there is something called the sacrifice of praise. Sacrifice of praise is, oh God, I have looked around me. Everything is telling me to cry. But I have chosen to praise you in the midst of my pain. Such kind of praise brings the hand of God. Can I speak upon the two persons here? Your hand towards this altar. We didn't come to play. Some came to convert lies. He came to convert lies. Lift your hands, close your eyes. There are about four places I saw clear. I'm from Kakari Clear. Shadi Kapalata. The chain that has held you that place is about to break now. Yes, yes. You will do me only a simple favor. You will turn from your right as if they are losing you. And three times you will shout Jesus. On the third one, that chain will leave you never to come back again. Lift your hands, close your eyes, everybody. We are not here to play. Alikusunda Kene. Arosene Kapaya. Three times turn from your right. Shout Jesus. One, two, go. Turn from your right. Shout Jesus. The years of chain is breaking now. They are 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 breaking now. Jesus. Help them, help them, help them. I 
why I saw an angel. I saw a house. I saw a house. But then now, I saw where they went to that house and began to move things like cobwebs. Like cobwebs. Like cobwebs. Like cobwebs. This is making the eighth year. The eighth year of that building, my God. As I stand by the voice of fire. Every cobwebs on that project. Yeah, that cobweb disappeared now. Amen. The yoke of delay, the yoke of delay, the yoke of delay, oh, yeah. the yoke of delay, 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 every yoke of delay, every yoke of delay, every yoke of delay, be broken in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lift up your voice, shout, I shall not be late. I shall not be delayed. Shout it, I shall not be late. I shall not be delayed. Say every chain of delay. Every chain of delay. Every chain of delay. Every chain of delay. Hear this. Delay is not saying that you will not make it. But delay is saying you will make it, but not now. Ah. If not for delay, some of you here may be landlord and landlady. Ah. If not for delay, some of you may be carrying your children. If not for delay, some of you here must have finished giving birth to children. Delay is not saying you will not travel, but it's simply saying you will travel, but not now. Delay is not saying you will not be more time alone. But he's saying you will become, but not now. Shout it on top of your voice. Spirit of delay. Spirit of delay. Spirit of delay. Spirit of delay. A sign against my destiny. A sign against my destiny. Expire now. Expire now. Expire now. Expire now. Put your mouth and declare it. Expire. Expire. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, thy yoke is broken. Amen. Fire. No wonder David said, Lord, satisfy me early. It is painful to see others making it and you are not making it. Lift up your hands. Every satanic chain of delay that kept you stagnated in life, that kept you stagnated in destiny, Fire. at the loudest of your amen, that chain is broken. Amen. That chain is broken. Amen. This prayer point you are going to pray with every seriousness inside of you. As I step aside for God's general to continue. There are few of you here. God wants to separate you from the spirit of failure. Spirit of failure. A man met me that time and he was crying. He says, I am not crying, man of God, because I lost my son. He said, I am crying because the money that the doctor demanded for as a deposit, I was unable to provide. He said to me, I felt as a father. I felt as a father. You are going to lift up your voice. No matter what you are doing in life, that you will not fail. Hey. Lift your voice, shout, Spirit of failure! Spirit of failure! I am not your candidate! I am not your candidate! Shout it with every seriousness inside of you! Spirit of failure! I am not your candidate! I am not your candidate! I will not fail as a father! I will not fail, I will not as, fail a as a mother! I will not fail, I will as, not a fail as a son or daughter! I will not fail as a son! I will not fail maritally! I will not fail! Open your mouth and declare it! Oh God, I will not fail. 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 Break out of that yoke. The yoke of failure. The battle of Sopalata. I will rush up in Karamashia. I will not fail. 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 I will not fail.
I will not fail. I will not fail. Declare it. I will not fail. I will not fail. Declare it. I will not fail. Declare it. I will not fail. Lift your voice and let God hear you. I will not fail. Shana makata la bahaya. of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Stretch your hand towards this altar. Can I be sincere with you? Failure is a spirit. When it comes upon a person, even when you want to succeed, you say failing. There are people who have tried all they can, but they kept failing. Failure sponsors frustration. Frustration sponsors suicide. So many people that take their own lives were because they were frustrated. Amen. I'm unka fail. Oh, men can fail. Oh, men. Oh, men can fail. Oh, it's my own case now. The worst. At the point, the announcer said, "Okay, since nothing is working, let me take my life. Why am I living?" I want to pray for you. No father, no mother want to see her children fail. I went to a church to minister. And an old woman came to me crying. He said, please, I pray for me. I retired as a bank manager. But my four children cannot even give me 1,000. Because all of them are still hoping that I give them money. They are only waiting for when they will pay her, is it? Gratuit a ton. So that she will give them money. An old woman of more than 60 something years. Stretch your two hands. Whether you are a father or you are a mother, I want your amen to shake heaven. Every child you have given birth to, or you will still give birth to, if you shout amen, none of them will be a failure. Stretch your two hands. I want to pray. Failure is not only when a father or a mother couldn't pay house rent or pay school fees. The worst failure in life is when a person fails to fulfill his divine assignment. Apostle Paul said, I have run my race. I have finished. I have, I have gone to collect my crown. Jesus, when he's about to go, he said, Father, I am done with the work you asked you sent me to do. Now glorify your son. The worst before you get nobody is a biological accident. Even if you were born out of wedlock, God knew you were coming. He said to Jeremiah, Before you were formed in your mother's womb, I knew thee. And I will tell you a prophet to the nations. Jeremiah was not ordained in his 20 years, he was ordained before the mother gave birth to him. There are so many evangelists that are on the street doing mechanic. And there are so many people, so many young girls that are doing hookup who are supposed to be evangelists. church. no 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 na hotel. Some young men that should be in church doing IT. Projecting this thing for God are in their homes with their iPhone doing their woo boys. They may make the money, but before God, they are failures. Failing is not only when you don't make money. No. Failing is when you live your life on earth and you didn't fulfill your assignment. Can I shock you? Can I shock you? The primary assignment of Mary was to give birth to Jesus. The primary assignment of Anna was to give birth to Samuel. There are some women, their primary assignment for marrying that man is to give birth to a son that will change the family story. But they entered there and for 12 years, their wombs are short. Some of them are there. They are supposed to give birth to a son. But they couldn't say, we go And what God needs to work in that family is a male child. Madam, even if your husband has all the houses and cars on earth, if you don't give birth to that boy, you are a failure. Can I pray for you? Stretch your hands towards this altar. Mm. This thing is true. It's true. 
I decree over your life in your divine assignment while you are here. May you not fail. Amen. Oh, Kabana Hina Kabala Hani Madabaya. I the divine assignment why God sent you here. I declare, may you not fail. Amen. Well, some more wine that God sent into a family. That they are coming into that family will bring light and liberation. But they are busy going up and down complaining. I'm married to a bad family. I married a bad man. But the reason why God sent you your primary assignment is to help that man and bring lights there. So no. Maybe in Lagos and say, you see village, I'm not going village again. Let me stay here and enjoy my life. And God is saying, this is not why I sent you there. I saw all the troubles in the foundation and I brought you and you are busy every day complaining. Now relate that some of the things you are complaining about are actually the things God sent you to go and solve. Every solution carrier is a problem solver. Mm. If you are a solution carrier and you are running away from problem, you have failed in your assignment. The day you say, I choose to be a doctor, get ready to see troubles. Get ready to see sick people. So when sick people are coming and you say, Ah, God, why sick people everywhere? This is why I sent you. Can I pray for you? I receive from this altar as you shout amen. Receive the power not to fail in your assignment. Amen. Everybody here, as you shout amen, you will not fail in your assignment. Amen. You will not fail in your assignment. Amen. You will not fail in your assignment. Amen. Somebody shout amen. Three times like thunder. asking God why me and God is asking you if not you who in to God why me and God is, is asking you if not you oh yeah who go who you go be who could it be Joseph at a point was asking why must it be me who will be solving all this and God knew that in some years to come this same boy is one I will use not just to save his family but to save the whole nation mm. yesterday our father was talking about process listen to me if you are beans don't envy indomie if you are beans don't envy indomie, indomie. Five minutes, Indomie is done. And when some beans are we shake it, shake it, shake it, it got your account. So, press up out. It's the money. That's the money. So, press up out. Or for that call to own your steam in here. Or I'll be his yoga. It is the news of the manager when I didn't do. If you are beans, don't envy Indomie. <laughs> yeah, I have been a bachelor for years. Offer over like can't a bachelor. <laughs> Before God now say, my son, come up. <laughs> <laughs> Hear me. Hear me. I started what I began to say on this order by telling you that life is done by dawn. If you be beans, don't envy in domain. Focus on your own. Allow God to take you through the process. Because if you carry the crown of Indomie and put on your head, people may praise you. People may shout you are a great person. But before who sent you, you are a failure. Can I say this thing again? John the Baptist was to be inside the bush. And people will go there and meet him. John the Baptist does not have any business buying a big car. He doesn't have any business wearing good suits. His business is inside the bush. He baptizing people. And the business of Jesus was to preach the city, heal the sick, and do miracles. John the Baptist, you don't have assignment doing miracles. 
But when he began to hear of Jesus, the blind is seeing, the lame is walking. Yeah, she in a bush, put on a seat. Back over to him, I was here. Two on a politics. Oh, you know, no, you could not free. Oh, my, no, go area. And that day he spoke. I can't have a way of work. When he now entered the room, he began to wonder, now what happened? Is he now sent them go and ask him? He's at you. Go and ask him. Is he the one or should we wait for another? And Jesus told him, go and tell him the blind see. The lame walk. Listen to me. Let me tell you the truth. You see, everybody here, we all have our separate assignment. Focus on your own. Every star has their time of manifestation. Exactly. The sky is too big that all the best can fly. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Can I pray for you? Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, you will not fail. Amen. Please go back. Somebody shout, I hear you, sir. I hear you, sir. So, certainly, there are things which we used to know a person who is doing well in Nigeria by what you have. But this is not what heaven is calculating. Heaven's calculation is not earth's calculation. Understand it. There are some women, your assignment is to raise godly children that will take over the world. And if that woman abandons her children, begins to go up and down to look for money, she has failed in her assignment. Lift your right hand. I want to pray as it is led, as it is led in my spirit. That thing that God sent you into that family to do, as you shout amen, you will not fail in your assignment. Lift your hand and shout three times, I will not be a failure. Say it again. Say it one more time. Shout amen like thunder. Can I continue? I yes, sir. Number one way. Number one way to come is to come with a heart of gratitude. Number two is to come with expectations. Come with expectations. Come with expectations. Come expecting. Come expectant. Don't come anyhow. If you come casual, you will go as usual. Tell them, let them hear. Tell them. If you come casual, you will go as usual. If you come casual, you will go back as usual. Come expectant. If you come casual, you go as usual. Proverbs 13 verse 28 told us that the expectation of the righteous, the righteous shall not be shall cut off. If you want to come and become, you must come prepared. You must come with expectation. It is expectation that bets experiences. It is expectation that bets a counter. When people come expectant, they receive. But when they come casual, they receive nothing. Nothing. And there are many people who came to church. Cobro Naibera Church. Listen, don't ever get to that point in your life where coming to God's presence now becomes a religious ritual. Mm. What I mean is that Kaige Ebere Thursday, not just Ebere Thursday. Don't get to that point where you become too familiar with God's presence that anytime you come, it now looks like a normal thing to you. If you get to that point in your life, you will always for God and never receive anything. Especially the workers listening to me. Don't ever come before God casual. Come prepared. 
If you have to get to that point where you now walk into the house of God, I don't mind. Okay, say me. Have you noticed that most time when God has a word of prophecy in the congregation, most times he does not come to those who are close to the altar mm. because they didn't come prepared. They didn't come with a heart full of expectation. Expectation is what gives birth to experiences. And when you come expectant, who we know, there are some who come. While you are coming, get your book and your writing material. A, a person that is expecting to learn from God. Church is a school. We are we learn you. about heaven. I hear you. Come expectant. Come with your Bible. Come with your writing materials. Come with your heart. God is presently present to present a present to those who are presently present in his presence. I hear you. Come and be present. There are people who are presently absent. You will know them. When we close, ask them. Give me a man of God preaching. Ah, that man of God can preach. Oh, who can joke? Oh, 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 he shouted fire. Give me God preaching. Oh, he fired. He preached. He fired. That is all. He went home with the other day. Nothing. All he knows now, Sally sing the tap with that ball ball. Now, this man borrowed your call. That is all. Also, he is present absent. Some are here. The only thing they are doing is now they are on their Facebook. Some are on their some are on their Instagram. Some are even in the church doing TikTok. I got in church one day. Where for come? A young girl came to church, sat down on her chair. And I don't even know who taught them how to do like snake. So now come to church, not to church. They came to show off their new kind of clothes and to snap at church gates. Ben, yeah, there is no gate. Oh, no gate, no gate. Oh. On Monday, they'll send a green gate. On Tuesday, they'll send a black gate. Next tomorrow, they'll send a gate. And the worst part is, I don't know who them had to do all this. Oh, no. You must, you must do leg like. They never came expectant. If you see a person who didn't come expectant, when you raise a prayer point, go see a will tell you. Lift your voice, my father. Anything fighting my family, die by fire. My father. That's my family. <laughs> Never start. 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 Some of them you call a prayer point. Their focus is their pancake. I don't can hit me more. Come okay, baby. My father, in the name of Jesus, any power fighting my life, die by fire in the name of Jesus. Oh, make it inside or outside. You didn't come expectant. You cannot receive. If you come expectant, it will also show in the way you dress. Mm. There are some people who come to church dressed anyhow. And sometimes I wonder, did you actually come prepared to receive from God? If you read Proverbs 20, Psalm 29, is it verse 2 from the Message Bible? He said, let us praise God with our holy attire from the Message Bible. How can a lady come to church who are expecting to be delivered of God in his presence and what you are wearing is mean skirts? By right, you shouldn't be so. 
If you are coming prepared, come covered. You are not coming to come and sell markets. Mm. If it is in your house, if you want to pray naked when you are in your room, no problem. But so far it is corporate worship. You must come prepared. Come well dressed and well packaged. How can you be coming? Nkiru, Nkazo, oh. Before I was the one, my father, my father, in the name of Jesus, a killer. Hey, she said, Oh, 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 Treasures are not seen on the surface. Treasures are seen in the heart of the earth. You need to dig. This thing that you are sampling everywhere will not bring husband. Or can you need some more? So bring husband. It will bring you a boyfriend that wants to sleep with you and go. And that is why they are busy serving you breakfast every day. As I walk in breakfast, you will come back to God of Abraham and say, God of Abraham, be gone. He will still leave you because you are not yet ready. When you come prepared, God knows. So how to come and become is come expectant. Why are you here? That is the question everyone here should answer. Any day you are leaving your house to the house of God for corporate worship, why are you here? That would it Somebody was praying in church one day. His phone rang. You know what he did? He went outside to answer the call. Oh, this boy is again. And serious. And when a video flow one day on Facebook, somebody that under anointing, phone here, ring yeah, with a phone. I am under anointing, I am under anointing. Watch him as, watch him as. He was not expectant. Not expectant. Because I know that if before your local government chairman, you will not pick your call. Don't do it. But of all, the way we treat God, we, we, we come so casual, and that is why we do like that. That's why we go like that. A person is not expectant to watch them. You will see it in their attitude in the church. Watch here. You will see it in their character in the church. How they behave. Some people will come to church and stay outside. Now, that is kid and winner, as I call. A mature opening prayer. May praise and worship. You know when they will come outside. Hano Hakadadi to the praise of the Lord. Have a thousand amen. You are the hypocrite. A pure hypocrite. You didn't come to church. Mm -hmm. I want to. Is he said with you? Talk to us. Even our church. Because maybe the angel that will record your case started from opening prayer. In a ah, but that's one man of God. Amen. Now I can't go to where. Daddy, big microphone. You must come expectant. When Anna came to the altar, she was expectant. She was expectant that she didn't even take note of what's happening around her side. I will encourage you in our dear church wear something that will free you to pray. Hey, Don't wear what you will wear and start looking for how to achieve the people again. Wear what can be free so that you can receive. Do you know there is a way you will be so body conscious? That you will live the spirits, and they that worship Him must worship Him in truth and in spirit. God is a spirit. The spirit. If I remember, we even more on your natural altar. Okay, okay, more. So if you must come and become, you must be expectant. Ask somebody. Say, are you expectant? Are you expectant? John Elsia, are you expectant? Are you expectant? John somebody else here, are you expectant? Are you expectant? Let me say this one. Thank God I'm close to here. I'm here. I'm not here. From here to me here. 
Some of you, while you are coming, you need to smell nice. Brush your mouth. Wear nice perfume. Hey, Miss Nanya. Why are you the water anointing? I am more anointing. So, James and John. I went to somewhere. I want to hear the medical. I don't know if it's anointing or whatever. But when I got close and had him talk, hey, hey, the hey almost fell me down. Because that was. Oshie. Of any moon, we lift your name. Oshie. The person around you will do for cheer. Our church space was good. Amen. Amen. When you are coming before God, have you not heard godliness is next? So, sorry, cleanliness is next to godliness. Our God is not a dirty God. Some of these berets you see and scarf you see, if you know what is good for you, don't go close to it. Amen. Here, the That is, if you like your life, don't go close. Because some of them in our favor, six months, media touch me here. And these things are reason why you can just be in church. Even though God is a spirit, but you are discomforting people around you. You are discomforting people around you. Come prepared. Come on, come here, they try to weak. We get lazy for a long time. It is better you just leave your head away. It is wash it and come to God. Come to God. Come need. Come need. Some will cover that in as, as it is. And where they are, people don't want to stay around them. And they basically on a baby, hold your hand with your neighbor. Nobody wants to hold you. Because when they get close, they perceive something else. I have a church. Can I pray for everybody here? Yes, sir. May the Lord prepare your heart to receive in the name of Jesus. Amen. One day I saw the way people were dressing to church and I was asking, if you were going for a job interview, will you come like this? But because it is God's house, we just come anyhow. Our God is not anyhow God. Help me tell somebody, say, our God is not anyhow God. Our God is not anyhow God. Not anyhow God. Some of you need to go back home today now and work on yourself. In either be jail, when they tell you to turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, God bless you. Your neighbor says, God bless you. Say, my neighbor, God bless who on this. Come on, see me or turn on. Come expectant. Come prepared. Prepare yourself while you are coming. Number three, come with faith. Come with faith. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. Verse 5 and 6. Hebrews 11, verse 5 and 6. Come with faith. If you must come to God and receive, you must come with faith. You must come with faith. If you don't believe, you receive nothing. If your heart is not involved in what God is doing, forget about it. If you must receive, you must come with faith. Hebrews 11 verse 5. Read for me. Hebrews 11 verse 6. Verse 6. Read verse 6. Yes. But without faith. But without faith. It is impossible. It is impossible to please God. For he that cometh to God, for he that cometh to God, must believe that must he is, believe that he is, and that he is the rewarder, and that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Of them that diligently seek him. Look up here. Come with faith. Cannot come and not believe. Listen to me. It is not everybody who comes to Jesus that receives. Even the Bible told us that Jesus could not do mighty work in his hometown. Why? Because of their own being. He that comes to God must first of all believe that he is. And that he is the rewarder of they that diligently seek him. God is not a robber. God is a rewarder. Let me say it again. 
God is not a robber. God is a rewarder. He rewards. He rewards. He rewards. Did you hear me? He rewards. I See, hear he has not called all of us here to seek him in vain. The reason why you may come and not receive is when you come without faith. Are there people here that believe that God will answer it? That God will answer them? Why you are coming? The Bible says you must first of all believe that God yeah, God is here and he is also the rewarder of they that diligently seek him. Let me show you two kinds of faith you must have. You must believe that God can and God will. I will explain. You must believe that God can and God will. The word can means that God has the ability, that God can do it. The God will means that God has the desire. He is willing to do it for you. There are people who come to God, they know that God can heal the sick, but they don't believe that God will heal them. Because they have had testimonies from people, but they have not experienced it. So, while you are coming to God, you must believe that God has the ability to do it for you. And then God can also do it. So, when you are coming, come with faith. When you want to pray in your house, pray with faith. When you are entering this church, pray, come with faith. When you are coming before God, come with a heart that believes. For without faith, it is impossible. The only thing that God said is impossible is that thing that you did without faith. So if you if you cross the door of the ministry without faith, God is, is already telling you that your testimony is impossible. But if you cross with faith, He's telling you that it is possible. For all things are possible to Him that believe. Come with faith. Come with faith. When you believe, anything you are asked to do, you will do it. When you believe, when they say pray, you pray. When you believe, the moment you are told from the altar that the case is settled, you believe it. Anna came before God and was crying. And Eli asked her, I said, woman, why have you taken wine this early morning? And Anna said, ma, sir, I am a woman of the of soul. I am only pouring my heart out to God. And Eli said something profound to her. He said, go. May the God of Israel grant your request. Read your Bible. The Bible said that Anna stood up in her tears and she went and ate and she sorrowed no more. That is the heart of the woman that believes. When the man of God says to you, go, the case is settled. Don't cross the door and begin to say something negative. It shows that you don't believe it. When the man of God tells you that the matter is over, you don't go out and begin to say no. Nah, eh, I'm not coming home. Walk color. You mention it. It means you don't believe. So when you are crossing the door to come, first of all, in your heart, you must believe that God is here, and He is the rewarder of day that diligently seeking. Can I speak upon you here? Yes, By the I time am. you are finishing from this program, may the may the Almighty God, who is a rewarder, may He reward your efforts in the name of Jesus. May the Lord reward for in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord reward your efforts in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lift your right hand anywhere you are. Say, My Father. My Father. I am before you again. I am before reward you again. My effort. Reward my Say, effort. My Father. My Father. My Father. My Father. I am before you again. I am before you. Reward again. my effort. Reward. Shout, my effort. Amen, like a thunder. Amen. I will say briefly. Number four, how do I come? Come with all your heart. All your heart. Somebody say, All my heart. Jeremiah 29 and verse 13. God said, You will find me when you seek me with all your heart. With all your heart. When you are coming, the price to see the all of God is the all of you. The price to see the all of God is the all of you. Hold your hand with your neighbor and lift your hand. I want to pray. Your neighbor and lift your hand. I want to pray. As your hands are connected and are lifted, as your amen shall be louder, 
wherever they held hands together to conclude your matter yes, today barika sundia let your evil gardens scatter now by fire hey, let the evil gardens scatter by fire hey, let the evil gardens scatter by fire hey, lift your head and shout amen like thunder hey, can you hold your hand in three in three in three i want to pray a prayer Three, three. I just saw a flash. I just saw a flash where somebody is in the middle and three persons were beating the person without help. Three persons were beating the person without help. As your hands are connected in three, the Bible said that God of three cannot be broken cannot be broken cannot be broken three represent god the father son and holy spirit i agree with you in that your trinity circle anywhere they held hand together to place judgment against anybody close to you Fire. whether you or your husband or your children Fire. or your business or your health Fire. as you shut them and let them scatter by fire hey no let them scatter by fire hey no let them scatter by fire hey no somebody say my father my fighter my father my fighter every evil gathering every evil gathering against my family against my family scatter by fire scatter by fire scatter by fire scatter by fire open up your mouth and pray for one minute Father, open up your mouth for jesus every evil gathering in my father's house in my community in my place of business in my office in my yard oh lord my father every evil gathering in order to destroy me in order to stop me in order to reduce me oh lord my father as i do with my brethren i decree i declare let them be scattered 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 let them be Amen. Fire. Leave your hand and hold somebody else. Hold somebody else. Let go to the Somebody say, My father, my father. My father, my father. Any man or woman. Any man or woman. Using their mouth. Using their mouth. To scatter what I am doing. To scatter what I am doing. You are a liar. You are a liar. As I pray now. As I pray. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Open up your mouth and fire. Break it, 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 break I join my hand with my brother wherever they have gathered any man any woman that have used his mouth to scatter my effort to scatter my business to scatter my progress to scatter my marriage to scatter my ministry oh lord my father let them be destroyed let them be destroyed let them be destroyed let them be destroyed scatter them scatter them scatter them in the morning in the day in the night scatter them by fire, scatter them by thunder, scatter them, scatter them, scatter them. Scatter them. Of scatter them. Jesus Christ will pray. Amen. 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 Fire. Hold your hand with that your neighbor and drag that person to the altar. What's here? Fast. Fast. Wait. 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 Now, when you are coming, hear me, hear me, hear me. When you are coming, your neighbor is not your enemy. Are you with me? Are you with me? Your neighbor is not your enemy. Are you with me? But yes, I'm going to say this way. Say you are going to declare as you are carrying that your neighbor. We are going to declare, I carry everything troubling me to the altar. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? I said, as you are carrying your neighbor, your neighbor is not your enemy. I hear you. Are you hearing me now? Hey, come on, I live in the world now. Your neighbor is not your enemy. 
but you will carry that to your neighbors you will carry them for hand you are going to shout i carry everything troubling me to the altar did you hear me now yes, one two three go drag your neighbor i carry everything troubling me to the altar i drag everything troubling me to the altar i pull everything troubling my soul to the altar in the name of jesus amen oh yeah hold your neighbor now lift your neighbor's hand when it comes to a battle that you cannot fight you bring the battle to god are you with me when it comes to a matter you cannot handle you bring the battle to god he will fight on your behalf are you with me? you will hold your hand with your neighbor some of you will hear news this night amen you are going to pray as you hold your neighbor anybody bigger than me stronger than me fighting against my life i drag you to the life converter are you hearing me yes sir the life com let me tell you one thing the life converter does the life converter does only convert from negative to positive he can change somebody's address from number seven in street to number six imala street did you hear me then whenever i bought number six samson street and there is another street and i bought number six imala street uh, uh, do, do, do you know that street imala, you heard of that street? imala street do you know that street eh? uh, do you know that street yeah. And when I bought number six Imala Street, so so the num the life converter eh, can convert your Nebuchadnezzar, your Pharaoh, your Herod. He can convert them from number six Samson Street to number six Imala Street. Uh, has he not entered? Obago? Obago? Do you understand it? Obaraba. Right. You are going to pray this way. Everyone, anybody bigger than you, when you job one year, see, okay, no man. And when you go and you see, before you contact and you see, there are people like that, and they look at you and they feel that you have nobody, but you have God. And when you catch and when the life converter arises, he knows what to do. We are going to drag anybody bigger than me, stronger than me, fighting my life and my family. I drag you to the life converter. Enter number six in my last street. Did you hear me? Yes, sir. We want to change their address. You are going to shout Holy Ghost fire three times. And you pray that prayer. Anybody stronger than me, bigger than me, fighting me and my family, I drag you to the life converter. Enter number six in my last street. Holy Ghost fire three times. What to go? Holy, Holy Ghost fire. Two. Holy Ghost fire. Number three. Holy Ghost fire. Lift your voice and pray. Oh God, Any God is stronger God. than me. Any evil man. Any, Any evil, evil woman. Than me. In my father's house. In my life. Donating my life. My family. Donating my peace. Donating my peace. Donating my life. I drag you. Oh my father. For the life of God. I drag them to the altar. Oh God. Number six. Oh In my street. Father. I drag them along to number six, Himala Street. To number six, Himala Street. To number six, Himala Street. I put that man. I put that woman. I put that man. I put that woman. I put that man. I put that woman. That I found that over his dead body, over a dead body, will he allow me to testify? I put you now into number six, Himala Street. As a standard before this order, I pull you down into number six. He man a switcher. I pull you down into number six. He man a switcher. I declare, I declare for the Bible say that whatsoever the evil child hear me say that that is what they will do in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 Fire. Straight 
lift your hands towards this altar. I lay my hand on this exalted altar. Yes, Lord. And I pray for anybody here, anybody who is eating food and drinking water, who has vowed to be a thorn in your flesh, fight your family, to shout a louder amen. I decree I enter number six. Amen. May they enter number six in my last street. Amen. May they enter number six in my last street. Amen. Can I hear amen like a thunder? Amen. Look up here. I want to drop this mic. Remember, I told you that the same mercy for God. God is merciful and God is also a, a consuming fire. He kill it and make it alive. Everybody stay on this altar. Stay on this altar. We are before God and we must become. And God told us if we must come and become, come with all your heart. Did you come with all your heart? Yes, sir. Let me ask do you have any other alternative? No. You know, there are people that come to God and they are saying, God, if you don't do it, I will go back to my idol. They have alternative. They didn't come with all of their hearts. There are people that are, but they have their hope that one of their uncle will do it. They didn't come with all of their hearts. If you must come before God and see his power, you must come with all The price to see God is all of you. He doesn't want half. He doesn't want quarter. He doesn't want three quarter. He wants it all. The totality of him. Listen carefully to me. God is a king. Where God cannot reign, he will resign. If he cannot be the head, he will resign. Allow him. Come with all. All of you. And God told me again to tell you as not that you must come and become. You must come this period. In Matthew 9 and verse 21, Bible told us about the woman with the issue of blood. Madam, there were many people pressing on Jesus. When you hear multitude, it means thousands of people. But this woman said to herself, if only I can touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. The word desperacy is the feeling to do anything without minding the danger. That is the feeling of, have you seen a desperate woman before? Have you seen a desperate boy that wants to make money before? He can kill anybody. God wants you to approach him with that level of desperacy. God, it is either you or nothing. And this woman, she made up her mind. People were crowding Jesus. She broke every protocol. I don't know how she did it. Scattered everywhere and still find her way to touch. Now that you are here, come to God with a heart of desperacy. Chineke, it is either you give me or nothing. It is either you give me or nothing. And God said, I should tell you also, if you must come and receive, come with a humble heart. Once you get to this place, Drop wherever you think you are. I am chief. Keep it outside. I am law, law. Keep it outside. I am this in my town. Keep it outside. I am this or that. Keep it outside. It doesn't matter. God does not have elder sons of God. He doesn't have elder brothers of God. He doesn't have elder sisters of God. He does not have chief of God. He does not have law, law of God. All he has are children of God. When you come, humble yourself. James said, humble yourself before God. He may raise you. God opposes the proud and give more grace to the humble. The person holding microphone may be a son where you were born. But half of God, humble yourself and receive. Come before God in humility. Drop that thing you think you are. You don't need it. You don't need it. And God said, tell them, come in obedience. Remember what the mother of Jesus said to the disciples. He told them, whatever he asked you to do, do it. Do it. If you come and they say, lift your hands and pray, lift your hands and pray. If they say, start dancing, dance. Because in the midst of that instruction is your testimony. 
If you get back home, go and read your Bible. In Genesis 26, God delivered Isaac because of the obedience of Abraham. Parents, let me tell you, your obedience to God is your children's testimony tomorrow. Sir, if you obey God today, you see that obedience, it will not just go, it will outlive you. Even your children will live with it. They will benefit from it. Come to God in obedience. And when you are coming to God, come to God in boldness. God knows you more than you know yourself. Don't allow the devil to keep you in fear. Come. He told you to do what? Come. Can I be sincere with you? There is nothing that God cannot handle. There is no sin he cannot forgive. If you are willing to forgive. If you are willing to repent. He is willing to also forgive. He said in Hebrews 4 and verse 16. Come boldly to the throne of grace. That you may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. So you have to come boldly. Let me tell you how this thing works. When you come before God and you are praying and Satan begins to remind you of what you did years ago, he is trying to deal with your boldness so that you will stop your prayer points and start asking for mercy. And God will be saying, but that sin, I have forgiven you about it. I can't remember it. Anytime God forgives, God forgets. He will carry the paper and throw it away. Satan is the one who is the accuser of the brethren. So he will always come 10 years later and remind you of what happened 20 years ago that even God has forgotten. When you come, come boldly. I usually tell people, when you come before God and sit and trying to bring up ask him one question. Did I sin against you? Did you die for me on the cross of Calvary? What are you doing here? Get out. I know you are a mother. If your son breaks your pot in the house, will you go and call your neighbor to come and flood your son? If your son breaks your pot and you are shouting on your son and your neighbor now and say, oh, this boy, I have told you that this boy is stupid. Your neighbor will now go and carry back home. What will you do? If, if, if the neighbor now say, I must do it, what will you do? You will kick the neighbor out. When next Satan come to accuse you, tell him it's a family business. Get out. Is God your father? Is he your father? Yes. Sir. And Sam, is he your father? Yes. When next Satan comes, tell him this is a family business. Get out. You are doing nothing here. Come boldly before your father. Come. This is how to come and receive. Don't allow the devil make you fearful. The word boldness is without tremble. Come boldly. Come boldly. Some of you are here now. The reason why you are not receiving is because the devil has kept you in fear. God is saying no. Tell them come boldly. Somebody say we come boldly. Stretch out two hands. I want to pray. Father, from this altar I declare anyone under satanic bondage in the name of Jesus be free. Amen. Anybody here whom the devil has been telling things in your ear? Anytime you want to pray, those things keep coming up and they are affecting it. Affecting how you see yourself. Even affecting your prayer. Let that voice be silenced now. Amen. Every voice of fear speaking to your heart. Making you come before God and you receive nothing. Let that voice be silenced now. Amen. Every voice of guilt. This is throne of is that not it? This is throne. Stretch your hands. Where mercy is, judgment is cancelled. Anybody here that Satan has placed judgment on you, that you cannot cross this level, you cannot do this or that, by the reason of what God is doing on this altar, let that voice of judgment be cancelled now. Amen. Let that voice of judgment be silent now. Amen. Come on, stretch your hand and shout. I receive mercy. I receive mercy. Shout again. I receive mercy. I receive mercy. One more time. Shout. I receive mercy. I receive mercy. Lastly, I want to give this one like a gift. Before 6 p.m. tomorrow evening, 
somebody hearing my voice i declare by the god of this altar and by the god of my calling before 6 p.m tomorrow may you receive a call of good news amen if you are the one let me hear that amen three times like a thunder amen 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 i don't know there is somebody i had in my spirit now that what you are expecting will not be cut short amen no, 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 no. It will not be cut short. Amen. It will not be cut short. Amen. I pray from here to here. Any power fighting to divert what God has sent to you. In the name of Jesus, let that power be arrested. Amen. Let that power be arrested. Amen. Let that power be arrested. Amen. I declare over everybody here. Your enemies will never laugh at you. Amen. Can I hear your amen several times like a thunder? Amen. 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 Somebody shout a boobie. Somebody shout a boobie. Settled. Congratulations. 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 As you get back to your seat now, pick up a seat from your back. Run down to this altar and drop it now. Pick up a seat from your bag. Run down to this altar and drop it. And that we were here yesterday. I gave you an assignment to bring at least one person. If you came with somebody, you and the person should run down to this altar now. There is somebody you brought, Selonia Hanaka, and bring the person. Carry the person for your hand and bring the person to the altar. Eleko Sota Labasha. Ekarato Shaliga Dabaya. Chukwe Mesa Nangwa Ukwerem. Yamere Jaboyo Dobu. and I made to you to go now. Oh, Miss Ronan, I'm quite open. You're my angel for you. Nice one. What I say about 
Hey, what happened? Okay, okay, okay. 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 Jesus said in John 15 and verse 16, He said, You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit may remain, that whatever you ask of the Father in my name shall be given to you. I will give you one minute. Just ask God for anything from this altar. Say, Lord, I have done this one. Do this for me. Eh? Both Monday, but Monday, but Monday, but Monday, but Monday, because is the power of God that brought the person. Where we saw yesterday, they told them and they were giving excuses. But this man went out and invited. Even if it is people in your house, but they listen to you, is the power of God. Open your mouth for one minute and ask. I want to pray for you. You are here. 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 Give me water. I want to drop water in there. Give me water. Give me that because you are open it. Open it when you get there. Just open it. Ask for anything. Karabado, Shila Baradaba. Lege this Kavrando Habaya. In the name of Jesus. Open your hand like this. After you win me and I go on. Oh, stay. And they put it up. Just put your hands. For this you have done. Water is life. Everything that is dying around you, let life come upon it. By this simple instruction, every dying thing becomes a life. Just hold it. Jesus, receive your freedom. In the name of Jesus. Open your hands. I will never go to the car. Yazo can meet him. Yazo can meet him. Yazo can meet him. When I was a man, I would be sent to you. Yazo can meet him. He are not to you, man. You look over. Shalabara. Everything that has been lost in this hand is restored. In the name of Jesus. Yazo can meet him. I don't want to get this here, John. Yeah, keep beginning her Jesus. Lord, no rabbi, that's what can you do. That's what can you You will not be confused again. You will not be confused again. Come, 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 come. You will not be confused again. Let this life receive direction. Receive direction. Receive direction. You will no longer be confused again. But we need to begin in my again here. Maybe the Almighty God bring you out. You won't be confused again. Because he has stepped into his on his leg into the throne of mercy. Bring him out and set him free. Let the God of this altar change your life in the name of Jesus. Now I made a promise yesterday. All of you come closer. I made a promise yesterday that. I'm going to give you a mantle. Tomorrow is Thursday. The mantle will be here. Are you with me? Why are they not all that? It will be here till tomorrow. Let the God of this altar breathe on the mantle. So all of you tomorrow, and those that are here me now, that will bring others tomorrow. This particular prayer is not for everybody. It's for those who have decided to do the work of God. That even if it is your son that you brought, the mantle will touch you. The assignment is go out there and bring them. Let God touch their lives. Are you hearing me? Yeah, look at Sunday Lebaya. Yeah, baby, go get you a print here. Sorry, sir. Yeah, baby, go get you a print here. 
I don't like when I come to churches and I see hand be let's spend the legal way print. And people are looking at me, they have customers, they have people like in their house. And when they're on the street, I as I am counting one to ten, open in a bar and God truly convert your life. Whether you collected yesterday or not, run down here and collect this flyer now. You say about nah, now, nah, you are going to give it to people. One, two, three, four. If you are coming here, don't collect just one. You see, ever for EAJ where many men invite. Everybody run down here. Pack as many as you can. You see, ever now for now. IAJ where many men invite. And don't just give them intentionally in the name of God. I want to give you my myself. Collect. Tomorrow, show me those you brought and I will pray for you. Don't forget. I have a personal assignment with you. Tomorrow. Go see me in the water. Go see me in the water. Jacob Talabahaya. Where it will not remain here. It will not remain here. I need four ladies that are saying, Lord, after this program, I want to enter my husband's house. Come and collect from my hand. I will give you ten ten each. Four ladies. In a baby, it should make sure that you somebody here. There is God on this altar. He will combine that life. Where are those four ladies? Very, very fast. Can everyone run down here now? Run down with every alacrity and with every seriousness. There are still handbills on this altar. Where are the four of them? And don't waste the time. Where are they? Come and collect it from my hand now. Four ladies in a bar. This is how people miss the testimonies. Equally, your, your, your prayer points, and you don't want to receive the blessing. You, you think it's by, it's by natural power, by the grace of God. Most men don't want to marry now. Or oh, the power of God, Yemir, or Gamir, and Sharp Sharp. Even if you like, even if, even if you cook all the food in this world. Upon a much naked man, I can see a guy with his guy me or not ever near the lafia. Let the life converter convert him from a fiancée to a husband. I a converter. Pack this one and give me my hand. Let me give it to you. He said, "Ever and I make a shot tomorrow." Damn bad, I can't believe this. Shanda la baya. Chineka are at was as Lord, I decree and declare. It is not just an action. This is a spiritual assignment. As if we go out to market Jesus, market them. Can the church shout amen? It's a spiritual thing. It's a spiritual thing. As they go out to market Jesus, Jesus markets them. Before God of Abraham 2025, the testimonies will stand. If you are not an enemy, holla a better amen now. I'm a, I'm a name with him, Grace here. Yeah. There are a lot of people that I know that like this, like this. God has answered. Do you want to collect your own? You want to collect? All right. All of you go back. Shanda Baya. Stretch your two hands. I want to drop this microphone. I'm on. Stretch your two hands. Tomorrow, all of you that invited somebody, like I gave you that, is an instruction. When you get to your compound today, tell somebody, don't keep your mouth shut. Don't be selfish. What God is doing here is not meant for you alone. It's meant for the world. Go out there and bring somebody for Christ. I pray today as your two hands are open. Everything you have received from God, no demon will take from you. I decree and declare you are returning back here tomorrow with your testimony. Everybody shout that amen three times like a thunder. Two. Let me have a fire! Jam your hands together for the Lord. How many of you are blessed today? If you know you are blessed, just wave your hands to the Lord. I want to really appreciate the Lord for this very wonderful section. In fact, we are really touched by the world. And the tomorrow is a, another day. I believe that God will help us to finish all the slots we have in stock tomorrow. Eh? 
So the, there will be eight o'clock slots. There will be nine thirty slots, and there will be twelve o'clock slots before the final slots tomorrow. So God will help us to meet up. Make sure you are here on time. And uh, tonight we are taking those that are making vows to the life combatant unto the Holy of Holy. By 12 on the doors, we will begin to receive the candidates that are going to be going to the Holy of Holy to make vow unto the Lord against 2025. And then also tomorrow, those that are coming for fulfillment of the vow unto God of Abraham for the previous vow they made on the altar during God of Abraham in other years and previous year, Invisible Defender. They will be coming tomorrow to make their redeem unto God tomorrow. So if you are among those that, are want, that want to redeem their vow, make sure you go to the back, submit your name, so that they will get you prepared ahead of time. God will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. And uh, please, those people that, uh, that was invited today for the first time, uh, after the service, please don't go. I want to give you a very light refreshment as a part of entertainment. So please, after the service, you meet me by this very corner. They will take care of you and make sure you are okay. Amen, somebody. I think we are okay for this very day. Shall we all our lives on our feet? As I declare blessings of the Father, Unto you. Lies up on your feet and receive the blessings of the house. And those that register for the campaign, go to the back and collect your, your meal tickets. Those that register for the campaign should go to the back and collect their meal tickets. The meal tickets, both the one of today and tomorrow and the next, should be dispatched at once so that there will be no call for this again. Please, organize that, distribute it at once and so that there will be no more uh, sharing of tickets after this till the end of the service and the end of the program. I want to bless you. Yes, Lord. I decree over you because of this very program the Lord has set for you. I know that it was directly set for you. And I stand upon this altar to decree over your life into this very program your life will be converted. Amen. Conversion is about, it's all about bringing something to a new face. Taking the old face and bringing it to a new face. When you take 2020 model of Land Cruiser and take it to the workshop, when they say they want to convert it, it will not come out a 2020 model. It will come out a 2023 model. Because you have come to this very program, I stand as an oracle of the Most High God to decree you will not come out the same way. Amen. The Lord will convert you to the latest model. Amen. The Lord will convert you to the newest model. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray that at the end of this program, none of you 
shall have any reason to regret. Amen. The Lord will give you evidence of coming in Jesus' name. Amen. I place my blessings upon your foreheads. Anywhere you go, the blessings of the Lord will be speaking in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And as you are coming back here tomorrow and next, I pray that whatsoever the Lord have in store for you, it shall be granted to your soul. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Please don't go so that they will have a special prayer for you. Don't go. They have already done their own worst. I call it their worst because that is the highest they can do. The highest they can do is to do this. But never mind. I see that is their worst. But the Lord has given me the key to reverse. Anything they have done, listen, in order to destroy your efforts and destroy your life, through this very project that you just finished in the village, and the enemy says, I will make sure that there will be no further enhancements over their life and not your life. So they have done something which I see, was being manipulated in a shrine and they lay it on that very project so that uh, there will be no further enhancement over you. It's a small matter. Once we finish, you come, we will tackle it and then uh, unveil it back and send it to them and God will grant you victory over your enemies in Jesus' name. Amen. My God and my Father, I pray today over these very ones. In as much as you have assigned this very mercy unto them, O oh Lord, that today they will return with the gift of mercy. I pray by the unction of my grace and power that mercy will continue to speak over their lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, that boy, when the man of God was praying for you, I want you to hold on. Don't go in a haste. I will pray for you before you go. I will pray for you before you go. Every pattern of the family, like Adosine Hata, every pattern of the family that is speaking around you, Please let the workers take notes. The pattern. They have to break the pattern. In as much as we are here, any case that comes, we settle it. That is what makes us ministers of God. And we have the power and ability to break yokes instantly. Eh? Yes, sir. God will see us through in Jesus' name. Amen. Why you take up the first message tomorrow morning, the first section of the tomorrow morning, you will take up the message so that the Lord will be glorified Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray for you, mercy will speak for you. Amen. Wherever you could not be able to speak for yourself, I decree that mercy will speak for you. Amen. Mercy will speak for you. Amen. Mercy we speak for you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, mighty Father, for you have answered our Thank prayers. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, 
Jesus name Father we give you all the glory honor and thanks for what you have done in our midst today we thank you O oh God for the blessings we thank you O oh God for the breakthroughs we thank you O oh God for the instruments that you used for us today we say be that highly exalted in the name of Jesus now as we are living here O oh God not your presence but to go back to our homes let the angels go with us, O oh God, to clear on our ways any form of obstacles in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray thee, O oh God, that none of us shall drop our blessings on our way in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father. We pray in Jesus' name. The grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. For surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever amen go in peace in jesus name